Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm here. You all right? Oh, fine. Just oh, needed a breather. It sounded like you blew your guts airlock. Yeah. I barfed. It's just stress. Esa chamba te va a matar. Don't worry. I'm not dead yet. Exactly. Yet. Anyway, what's going on? Is there a problem? <clears throat> we had a leak. My boss called. Dragged me in because we had to intervene. Everyone at Night City HQ is on edge. But no way you're fucked, right? You're the one who fixes other people's shit. Jackie, if you work in our soccer counter intel, you're always fucked. Listen, gotta go. Work won't do itself. What a suerte. Visitor authorization granted. Are you online? Have a seat, V. Be right with you. We have to handle this voting issue before we lose our bases in the Sea of Clouds. They're about to begin. What's the situation? Mm. Mm hmm Yeah, just as we thought. You know what to do. Start now. <laughs> Director Abernathy. I watched the vote. What the hell was that? A deep clean, after the shit Frankfurt dumped on us. As we agreed, I got rid of the problem. I told you to resolve the problem, not massacre the European Space Council. Do you understand what the cover-up will cost? We would have lost the license, now we gained a week. That's a win. Path of least resistance, always. No nuance, has you written all over it. We're not done talking about this. I hate that bitch. I always have. Always? Meaning how long? Before Night City, we worked on an assignment in Osaka. Two years of subterfuge. She spent them digging a trap for me. When she became director of Spec Ops. And that's when she finally shoved me in it. Now she's holding a gun to my head to make sure I don't try anything. But she won't pull the trigger because she needs me. I do what she doesn't have the guts to do. Divide and conquer. Effective strategy. <laughs> Effective. What would you do in my position? Honestly? Please. There's not much you can do. She's got the Night City board on her side. If she wants you out, well... You understand. I do. Seems we see eye to eye on this issue. Take this. A data shard. Proof of my trust. Go on, take it. It's what I've collected over the past weeks. Biometrics, trauma team card, names of her closest associates, driver, chief of security, lover, lover's husband, everything. Use it and make sure Abernathy won't be a problem anymore. Said it yourself. She's left me no choice. If anyone finds out we even talked about this, I'll go down with you. That's true. But everyone knows you only made it to where you are, thanks to me. So it's not like they could ever believe you played no part in it. What'll happen if I refuse? Don't ask stupid questions. This isn't a request, V. We seem to understand each other. Take this, too. Credit ship transactions are traceable. Paper disappears as soon as you spend it. 
What can I say? Use this money only. Find the right people for the job. No corporate affiliation. And for the core task, use someone you know inside out. Are we clear? Yeah, I think we're clear. Good. In that case, I'll await your report. And good luck with it. I have my AV waiting outside. It's yours to use. And don't disappoint me. Jenkins, Night City Counter. AV, you alive? I'll stink to the Viper beat. Need your help, Jack. Got some biz. <sighs> Always biz with you, Mano. You in some trouble? Not yet. Right now, I just need a soul I can trust. That kind of sounded like a yes. Meet me at Lizzie's. Be there in an hour. Please provide your destination. Please provide your destination. Destination, Lizzie's Bar. Noted. En route. M54 News broadcasting with a breaking story for you. A conference of the European Space Council screeched to a grisly halt following a failure in a neural stabilization system. Five European Space Council members are dead, while three remain in critical condition. Authorities are still looking into what might have caused this shocking incident. The council members were all wearing Biotechnica-provided devices. The corporation's representatives have, as yet, refused to comment. Our reporter is on the scene. We'll have updates on developments as they come to light. Stay with N54 News for the latest. Hello, V. Yes? We weren't scheduled to connect till the end of the week. Quantified Satori received notification of a somewhat troubling biometric reading. I felt I should call. Is everything in order? I'm dealing with a temporary nuisance. Nothing you should worry about. Just think back to our last session. The neuromotor relaxation exercises three times a day, they'll soothe and lift your spirit. I know this. Sure, okay. See you later. No designated landing site has been detected at the destination. Find a spot close to the bar, as close as you can. Fuck procedures. Initiating landing sequence based on new parameters. Fuck's your problem, psycho suit! This look like a landing pad to you. Could have fucking crushed us. Jesus Christ. <laughs> okay, no, no, hey, we, we ain't looking for no beef with you. Seems trouble wants in. Oh, and why is this happening? Keep an eye on the AV for me, will you? I don't get paid to do that. I wasn't asking. I'm not a scratch on it when I get back. Welcome to Lizzie's. 
You don't come here often, do you? <laughs> it's good to see you, cabron. Now sit down and tell me what's got your shorts in a knot. It's good to see you too, Jack. How you been? I got sparks flying between the Valentino boys and Maelstrom. Eddie's there for the taking, as long as you don't get flatlined. I you know how it is. I can't complain, but we ain't here to shoot the shit about me. Let me hear about this problem of yours. Data shard. Take it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What do you think? Won't come cheap. It'll have to be done on the sly. No trail. Hard eddies only. Got the money. Full crew job for sure. Techie, maybe two. A runner with a gold-plated brain. And a driver with wheels from hell. Not to mention, a solo. Huh. The piece I'm missing. That what you need from me? My trigger finger to zero this lady? Delicate situation, I know. That's why I need somebody I can trust. This ain't no delicate situation, hermano. It's a hit job. Plain and simple. You know how Arasaka operates. Or... Okay, maybe you don't. This isn't a professional request I can refuse. But I can. And I am. And you should, too. Now, what do you say we liquor up and talk life? Gracias, mamita. Double tequila with grenadine and lime. Nothing better for drowning nerves. To this. Was that a toast? What the hell does that even mean? You raise a glass to your mama, your hermana. To the mamacita you'll meet at the bar. But this doesn't say a damn thing. To this. This job and all the rest of that corpo bullshit. You know what it is? Un pacto con el diablo. Been saying it all along. Soldiers sold to those Irasaka fuckers. Today, they got you to zero somebody. Tomorrow, they'll get somebody else to zero you. Those are the rules, Jack. You want to be top? Gotta have some skin in the game. Yeah, but you're not on top. Saburo Arasaka is. And you're the pendejo who keeps him there. Work for yourself, live for yourself. That's the only way. Maybe someday. But for now, I'm still well within their reach. You'll always be within reach. Always re- Hey, you lost? You got a problem? V, is that right? You're from Arasaka HQ. Is there a problem? Are you here about Frankfurt? We're here for you. Jenkins assigned you a task today. You'll share all the details with us. Name and department again? Didn't quite catch it first time around. Gah, fuck! How you feeling? Pretty sharp dive, huh? Your access to company networks is hereby revoked. In two minutes, any company cybernetics in your possession will cease functioning. Give us the data you received from Jenkins. This will conclude termination procedures. How the hell did you find out? That is not your concern. The data, now. Information's on the shard. Smart choice. <sighs> we done. With the formalities? Yes. But I think Abernathy would gladly up our fee for ridding her of a piece of rot like you. Stand up. You're coming with us. Come on, move Bye it. Bye, Aspen. I think you fellows might have forgotten just how far from home you are. I'm not sure this body is your style, let alone a healthy option. Get out, claro. Is that a threat? Well, you start shooting, maybe we join in, huh? 
Before you know it, somebody might die today. We have what we came for. It'll do for now. Ooh, dodged one there. Hijo de la chingada. V, how you feel? You all right? Like... like shit. My throat's like sandpaper. I'm not sure I can breathe. It's like when my little primito was ditching drugs. Nasty chills. Trembling hands. Cold sweat and dry heaving. Y yeah. Sounds about right. Hey. Hey. Should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe trauma team's on its way. Give me a minute. Get my shit together. That... That'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, you haven't lost everything. About to say I, I still have a friend? That's sweet. <laughs> no, dumbass. You still got that wad for the hit job, don't you? Probably some fat ass chunk of cha ching. Just right for a new start. That's right, fool. Buckle up. Hey, you hearing all right? Don't look so hot. V! V! Yeah! Hey, hermano. Huh. Your new life? It starts now. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the party kids! Or so they say, but you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! to the brain first! You AC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! <laughs> matters not where you're from, matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City, the city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? But hands. Cold sweat and dry heaving. Y yeah. Sounds about right. Hey. Hey. Should I get you to a ripper? Or, I guess, maybe trauma team's on its way. Give me a minute. Get my shit together. That. That'd be that, Jack. Just lost control of my life. Completely. I'd say you got it back. You couldn't say no to him. So they said it to you. This is a turn for the better. You'll see. Besides, 
We haven't lost everything. I'm about to say I, I still have a friend. That's sweet. <laughs> no, dumbass. You still got that wad for the hit job, don't you? Probably some fat-ass chunk of cha-ching. Just right for a new start. That's right, fool. Buckle up. Hey. You hearing all right? Don't look so hot. V! V! Yeah. Hey, hermano. Huh. Your new life... It starts now. Hello there, Night City! Stanley here with you, and we got another day ahead of us in this city of dreams! Ooh, I love this town! Love it like you might love a mother who popped you out on the steps of an orphanage once and now stops you to ask if you got a smoke for her! Every new day here means a hundred new arrivals! But only half these gongs will survive a year, and that's if it's a good one! And why do these peeps come to NC? Well, to be street samurai like Morgan, Blackhand, and Waylon Boa Boa! The greater the risk, the bigger the party kids! Or so they say, but you can only be a major league player for so long! The faster you live, the faster you burn out! to the brain first! You AC's legends! Know where you'll find most of them? The graveyard! <laughs> matters not where you're from! Matters not where you start! What matters here is the walk you walk! In Night City, the city of dreams. Chick we're looking for is somewhere in this building. Probably crawling with the pendejos that kidnapped her. Eyes and ears open, all right? Speaking of which, got you a little something. Militech training shard. In case you need to uh, brush up on your dance moves. Down for some target practice in VR? Sure. Why the hell not? Let's begin with basic combat training. This session will be recorded for subsequent evaluation. This course is designed to reinforce your fundamental combat abilities and hone your reflexes. The skills you gain here will help you survive, even excel on the battlefield. I will train you to be effective with firearms, to use stealth tactics to your advantage, and to hack into enemy networks. Because at Militech... Man, Militech can't encrypt for shit. But they clearly got drilling jarheads in their blood. Now. Station one, you maggot! Move, move, move! Good. Now show me what you've learned. Like you're cruising already. Hop on the platform. Good luck, V. So? Not bad, huh? But now we can get down to biz. Let's do this. Targets Sandra Dorset. Targets Biomon went mute a couple hours back. Suspected abduction. 
Target could have possibly flatlined already. Not sure you're in time. We're in time, Bug. We. Sure you're on phones, but that don't make you any less part of this squad. Squad. Charming. Bug, you could at least try to be... nice. You want nice, supportive? Call the damn helpline. Looking for 1237. Target should be inside, but I got zero eyes on her biomod. Fingers crossed it's not too late. Is that you? Ugh, I hate this life or death shit. Hurry. Try hacking the door. Think you can trip it on your own, V? Sandra Dorset's protected under Echelon 2 Corpo Immunity. Our girl's top shelf. This one's packing black market Zeta Tech repros. Typical back alley fix ups. Not our lucky gal. Let's keep looking. You know who you're messing with? Прикройте! Перезаряжи! Hold on, stay! We got options here. Bug, you got eyes on this shithole? Anything? Room he's in looks out on the balcony. Got a window on the left. Give me two steps to crease the lock. Mano, get his attention. I'll do the rest. Hack on the doors just clear. Watch yourselves. Don't see any movement on the sensors. Looks like you got them. You're clear to go. Shit, where the hell's our target? Look around. Gotta be there somewhere. Jesus fucking Christ. Think I got her. Got our target. We make it? She alive? About to find out. V, jack into our biomod. Need to know what we're dealing with. Jacking in. Oh, this does not look good. Sandra Dorset, NC570442, Trauma Team Platinum. Platinum? Shit. Trauma should have swooped in if she sneezed. Guessing they jammed the transmitter, Sig. Looking at a hacked biomod, firmware reconfig, or a neurovirus. Carajo, T-Bug. You ain't seeing this place. This is tubs, ice, hooks, and cleavers. Hmm. Scott Muncher's hack, huh? Got an idea. Check her neural port. Find a shard? Yeah, pull it. That'll be what's muting the biomob. Found the shard. Removing now. Check the biomob. Anything changed? Greetings, Sandra. If you are conscious, assume recovery position now. An emergency evacuation unit has been dispatched and is due to arrive at your location in 180 seconds. Biomon claims Trauma will be here in three minutes. 
Your premium plan will cover 90% of the projected costs of your rescue and treatment. Ay, pobrecita. Let's get her off that ice. Oh, fuck! She's flatlining! V, need to know what's going on. Jackie, air hypo! Fuck, this is bad! Hey, catch, vato! I think... Holy shit, it worked. Fuera, cabron. Get her outside. Fuera, get her out. Terrace. T-133 to control. Patient NC-570442 secured. Stimulants being administered. 70 milligrams dopamine. 110 norepinephrine. 800 fibrinogen. Let's get out of here. Elevator gets us to the garage direct. Good work. Shit show's over. Cutting my wires now. See you in the near future. Listen, Mano. I got this thing. Mind if I borrow your wheels? Hmm. I got a day with Misty, but I can't take the Metro. How's I gonna look for me? Won't leave you hanging, Jack. But don't get used to it. You saving my ass, V. Thank you. How about I drive you home, huh? She's all yours. I'm beat as it is. Oh, almost forgot. Should get Wakako in the hollow. Tell her the job's done. <clears throat> v, how did it go? Our client is alive and well. Of course she's alive and well. That's what we agreed, isn't it? Splendid. Your payment awaits you. Ready to come and grab whenever you like, even right away. But I guess home is the only place you wish to be now. The NCPD has surrounded Watson. The district is closed. If you're to make it past the cordon, you must move fast. Thanks for the heads up. Swing by to see you later. Words out the NCPD's gonna put Watson on lockdown. If I'm gonna sleep in my own bed tonight, we better put it in fifth. Leave it to me, Mano. I'm driving. Stop digging Night City. City like any other. Just bigger. Nah, Mano. Not just any other city. Morgan Blackhand. Andrew Wayland. Adam Smasher. Legends are born here. Man, I'm starving. Let's grab a tight bite. What do you say? Jackie. They're locking down Watson, remember? Oh shit, you're right. Is it just me, or...? Oh, I fucking knew it. Man on her ass, tailing us. Chungado. I don't like this, V. Not one tiny bit. Scuff! Hijo de puta! 
Fucking drive, Jackie! Come on, V! Can't! Keep her steady! Hold tight, V! Holy fuck! Mierda! Perdón! Got you, assholes! Scratched your baby up pretty bad. Sorry, V. It's okay. It can wait. Let's just focus on getting home. Stops. What does the lockdown to for the Nerdis? Necessary security measure. Officer, ma'am! Damn, are we ever lucky we ran into you. Really? What's it that makes me so special? A uh, heart of gold? Because only somebody with a heart of gold can understand just how much I need to get back to my girl. Your... girl? Uh-huh. Gonna be worried sick if I don't show. I mean, I'm trying to be a stand-up guy. Is she giving me a chance? Waiting. Hmm. That's Look a shame. At him. No model citizen, maybe. But he's a good kid. Let them through. But they're the last. Okay, on your way. You have a good evening now, officer, ma'am. She took a liking to you. The devotion I demonstrated grabbed her by the gut. Right. I'm loyal, stable in my affections. Mm-hmm. And unassuming. You get it. Out of the car! Now! Come on! Ain't got all day! Check it out, V. You should go down. Let's get the hell out and shoot! You look like your average bust. This ain't your average badges. Maxtac, NCPD's apex predators. MTAC rolls in when things fly out of hand. Conks out there, though. Just a midday snack for him. Well, show's over. Poor bastards. Thought they had it coming. Sweet dreams, then. Tell Misty I said hi. I will. Hi, luego.
think I might have caught something when I jacked into that corpo's biomon. Dunno, uh, neurovirus, sir. Need to see Vic. Let him tell me what's got my head reeling, my stomach churning. Okay, let me take you. I brought you a ride. Throw some threads, meet me downstairs. Mm. Man of the hour. <laughs> Sheesh. Took you long enough. Worked up an appetite, just waiting. Sit down, let me finish this. Then we can drop in on Signor Vector. Mentioned something about a surprise yesterday. Am I remembering right, or just had a brain fart? Probably both, because you usually forget shit. But it just so happens, I think I might have bagged us a sweet-ass J-O-B. Go on. I mean, maybe it's not as big as that, but... Just that he's fronted by a little-known someone named Dexter Deshaun. Only the top fixer in night fucking city. Fat-ass black Jesus of the afterlife. 300 pounds of partly gold-plated cool. So what's the gig? We meant to come out in one piece? Our Lord and Savior wants to tell you everything himself, face to face. Oh, no pressure, but uh, this whole deal is riding on you now, I see. All right. Let's hear what old Dex has to say. Set it up. Dex is a real deal when it comes to fixers. Don't get me wrong. Don't got nothing against the Padre or Wakako, but Dex is in a league of his own. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me started on fixers. They catch a client, find the cheapest gong to do the job, then drop their corpse at a landfill. Shit. Hit the nail on the head, V. Gracias a Dios. Estoy lleno. Brought your wheels. Gave them to my guy yesterday to smooth over the dents after our uh, dust up with scabs. Thanks, Jack. Much appreciated. Some top notch work Miguel did. Rides like it looks. Factory new. We'll see about that. So we rolling or what? Let's feel this factory new ride. Stop. Ripper Duck. And Holmes. Easy on the gas, huh? I just did. Hey, V. Dr. Vector will see you now. I'll sit tight over here. Me and Misty got a little catching up to do. You look pleased. Vicky, surprise every old Ripper. It's good to see you. Good to see you too, V. A oh, while. Wow. What do I owe the pleasure today? Last gig. Had to jack into a client's neuro socket. Think I might have gotten spiked. Experiencing migraines, nausea, hypersensitivity to bright lights. Whole kit and caboodle. All right, kit. We'll sort you out in a flash. Besides that, how are things? Need some new kit. But tools, not toys, Vic. Time I bumped up my sights and got a grip. <laughs> really? Now? Finally? Vic, shit's getting real. Got a job from Dex to Sean, hitting the major leagues. Any tech that can perform. The Dexter Deshaun? <laughs> well, that is something. But let me guess. Hasn't paid you yet. Not yet, but I'm good for the Eddies anyway. I gotta invest in not fucking up this gig. Chair, please. Sit down and relax. Kuroshi Optics. Best I've got and should be about right under the circumstances. Now Jack in.
You peruse and choose while I scan. See what's going on inside. Mark one, like I said. Decent enough scanner. Displays data on your cornea. Cherry on the top's a built-in external lens disruptor. In layman's terms, any surveillance cam will capture your face as a blur. And just remember, your body will still show up as crystal clear. Hmm. This should do the trick. Talks to Kuroshi Tech, too. I'm ready. Carve away. Excellent. Let's do this. Lay that major league arm of yours right here. Just like that. Thanks. Now, a bit of anesthetic and I can start cutting. Feel anything? Play by play, though? Really, Doc? Makes it sound like a dentist. Always going on and on. Don't be mean now. Remember, I'm old. I got a shaky Gannick hand. Could slip. Lights out for a minute, all right? Okay, let's test this. See the magic in action. Linking you in. You might feel a little discomfort at first. Blurred vision, low contrast, glitches. Well, how's it look? Feel all right to you? Oh, this is fantastic, Vic. <laughs> oh, beautiful. It's time for the scanner. It might take you a few seconds to adjust, but first time's rarely the charm, <laughs> with anything, really. Scanner should eventually sync with your thought processes and read your intentions. I also inject an NCPD file search. Run into any ne'er-do-wells? <laughs> you know exactly what they ne'er did well. <laughs> it ought to work like a charm. Now draw your weapon. You should see your ammo count in a brand new sight. Shit, Victor, not bad. I don't know what to say. Say you'll take this and remember the dosage. Two whiffs now, and another two in an hour. Thanks again, Vic. You're the best. I owe you. <laughs> Go on, kid. Show them what you're made of. And once you hit the big leagues, don't forget where you came from. You mean rats. V, yo, listen up. I talked to Dex while you were in with the doc. He's waiting in his ride. For you. Ain't but a hop to where he's parked. Next to Gramsci Burgers. Okay, do my best to talk us up. Yo, Mr. V, a pleasure. Dexter Deshaun in the flesh. Ample indeed. <laughs> Let's roll. Mind if I ask you something right off the bangle? Would you rather live in peace as Mr. Nobody, die ripe, old, and smelling slightly of urine, or go down for all times in a blaze of glory, smelling near like posies, without seeing your 30th? It's first place or no place, Dex. Cost isn't a factor. <laughs> Classic. I'd expect nothing less from eager, supple youth. Respect. 
All right, listen close. Scanning a serious job now. Playing gargantuan compared to smashing up a scav home. Let me hear it. What's the job? There's this prototype tech. A biochip, to be precise. Jobs to grab it. Simple. Yeah? <laughs> Guessing it belongs to a corp. Mm-hmm. Arasaka. Surely that's no problem. <laughs> Corps don't deserve special treatment. Shit, <laughs> you ain't playing around. Got a feeling this could be a start of a beautiful friendship built on heaps of eddies. You work this out? Got a plan? Two things. First, a conundrum with the Maelstrom boys. Needs active resolving that. Second, a rendezvous. Simple. Client who brought us the job's anxious. She wants to parlay with one of the team. What's the issue needs resolving with Maelstrom? Got a beef? Slot in the shard. Got a classic tale for you. Psycho gang doing his thing two weeks back. Jumped a Militech convoy. Got away with the gear. Corp don't even know Maelstrom's involved. Now see, convoy was carrying the flathead. A little combat bot, a prototype. And I need me that bit of high grade military tech. Because if we don't get that bot, we don't get no soccer chip. And we sure as hell don't get no happily ever after. But don't get excited. It's a single-use toy. Now, I flat out purchased the damn thing from Maelstrom. Problem is, I did so from a gent went by the name of Brick. I say went, because Brick was the leader. Three days after we'd sealed our deal, his friend and gangmate one Simon Randall, a.k.a. Royce, plain dropped his ass. Royce is in charge now, and I got no way of knowing if he aims to honor his predecessor's word. To add to this shitstrom, one Meredith Stout of Militech has developed an interest in said convoy. Corpo agent, what's she playing at? Hell if I know. Been skidding around town asking after the convoy as if her life depended on finding it. The one lead she's got zip-tied in her trunk. Sounds like she was waiting on the transport. Got stood up. Monochrome in the back's probably her chief suspect. Got nothing from him or on him, so she's keeping him just in case. But she needs to find the stolen gear before her bosses learn she fucked up. Well, Mr. V, that is some impressive deduction. Naturally, use that intel as you please. Preferably well. Of course, to do so, you'll need that frazzled cat's info. Sending it now. Client, what's her thing? Why she need to meet? Woman's name's Evelyn Parker. Betting her wasn't easy. Put the word out I was looking for any kind of intel. Right, and? Some brothers from Pacifica got back to me. Told me to stop looking. End the convo. <laughs> anyway, our little client insisted on meeting someone with skin in the game. You know, who'll be there for it all. Yours truly will be remote. T-Bug ain't no people person, and Jaggy's only good at some things. I know you know what I mean. Pretty much leaves you. Think I got everything. Time I got to work. Well, that's just music to my ears. I'll set up the meet with Miss Parker at Lizzie's bar. Flathead, though, is gonna be all you. One more thing, Mr. V. Quiet life or blaze of glory? Hmm? Later now.
Jackster, talk to Dex. <laughs> yeah, Gordito's a big deal. Literally a dog, yeah? Guy certainly knows how to protect his biz. Wants to put us on a few small kinks. Prep work, I guess. Before lining us up a big job. There's this combat bot, military prototype. Maelstrom clept it. Then Dex paid to take it off their hands just before the Gangoons had a switch up in management. I right, heard about that. Royce versus Brick. Hostile Tinkle. That sums it up. Dex wants us talking to Royce. Gave the deets of some Militech agent, too, but... I don't know how much help she stands to be. Ha. <laughs> Chingon. Then there's the other thing. Gotta meet the client who put the job on the table. Evelyn Parker. You? Well, what's Dex gonna do? Ride around in his limo, check chicks up on the hollow? Parker wants to meet someone on the crew. Dex gave me the nod. They must know what he's doing. So, how you wanna play this? Maelstrom or Parker? was first? Parker. I think I ought to see her first. See what she's like, what she's after. Orale. In that case, I'll hit the all foods. Put my nose to the ground. Sniff around. Hasta luego. Looking a little put out there, Input. Interest you in a preem, BD? Not my first time. Don't remember you. Because I didn't get in through the front. Ha! <laughs> get a load of this one. Right. Rules are simple. Someone catches your eye, you do not grab them. You find them in the catalog, ask for a BD, and get yourself a box. No recording, no cop and feels when the guards ain't looking. In you go. Have fun, Input. Welcome to Lizzie's. Hey. hey. Get you something. I'm looking for Evelyn Parker. You know if she's here? Who's asking? Name's V. She and I have a, uh, date. Well, V, it's a pleasure. I'm Mateo. Uh-huh. So, Evelyn? Club's big. We're gonna have to look around. Can't do it for you. It's all right, Mateo. He's waiting for this one. Evelyn Parker. I knew it was you as soon as you walked in. Sense on? Only tequila I drink. Hm. How would you know? I like to know everything about the people I work with. Either that or it was just a lucky guess. Why are we meeting here? Any particular reason? Actually, it doesn't seem much like your thing, this place. Mm hmm. Hm. I'll take that as a compliment. Come on. No place we can talk where ears won't prick up to listen. We'll be in the lounge, Mateo. If anyone asks, we're not here. So, what can a horny girl like me do for a Nothing guy wrong. like you? Really? Ellen Why don't you just tell me the truth? I just okay. told you. Dex had a load to say about you. Called you professional, effective, and trustworthy. I hope he wasn't overselling. You don't give a rat's dick what Dex thinks. We both know that. You have trouble accepting compliments? 
No, just think flattery's beneath you. Am I wrong? Maybe Dex is beneath you. Have you known each other long? Just started working with him, in fact. I've heard there are two kinds of fixers. Those with stable crews on long contracts and short leashes. Loyalty and predictability they value above all else. Then there's the other kind. Dex's kind. Come on. Can't leave that hanging. Headhunters. They lay their trust elsewhere, not in people, but in a thing. Their intuition. They bet on potential. And if they lose that bet, it's the last mistake they ever make. I'm hoping Dex's intuition has served him well in this case. Let's cut to the chase. What do you got for me? Your target. I trust you know what it is. Relic. Secure your soul trinket. Key tech in the program, actually. We're tangling with Arisaka, making this heist one dangerous, risky motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Arisaka's poured billions into personality transfer technology. But me, I just want the data on this one. The chip is tucked away inside Compeki Plaza, the hotel. You ever been? Arasaka seems to have quite the touch with that hotel chain. But I gotta say, Kompeki in Tokyo still leagues above the rest. The two are identical to each other. Japan staff, huh? The service can't be beat. Singapore, Paris, Washington. All the rest act like charity case cousins by comparison. Well, it's hard to argue with that, true. So where's this chip hiding exactly? In a suite on the top floor. The room's occupied by Yorinobu Arasaka. Yorinobu Arasaka? In Night City? <laughs> Guess the scream sheets weren't lying this time. It's on the lips of everyone in the city. Saburo Arasaka's only surviving son, heir apparent to the Arasaka Empire, in town. <laughs> Please. Could it be? Emperor's prepared to cede his throne after 150 years? <laughs> Doubt it. Only a handful of people in Night City know what the Arasaka's real plans are. Telling me you're one of them? Top dog like Yorinobu's bound to have an army on call. Hotel's probably a goddamn fortress by now, too. Yorinobu keeps exactly no hustle around. Not one guard. Got rid of them a long time ago. Huh. Why is that? Surely you know what they say about Arasaka Into. Sneeze in Night City, and a blossom drops from a cherry tree in Tokyo. Yorinobu was convinced his Arasaka security detail reported directly to his father. Look, if you've got any spare aces up your sleeve, now's the time to show them. Now this should make your prick perk up. Yorinobu recently swiped the chip from an Arasaka laboratory. He's made a deal with Netwatch. Aims to sell it to them. Have you spotted my ace yet, or do I need to spell things out? Fine. So no Arasaka security on the device, because Yorinobu whisked it away in secret. Now, where's he hiding it? Well, likely in a specialized container. One that mimics an organic neural environment. On the outside, it looks like an ordinary briefcase. And the case is... You'll see for yourself soon enough. Provided we're done gossiping about the Arasakas. Heard a bit about Yorinobu. Studied finance and biotech in Tokyo. Probably to please his father. Mm-hmm. Saburo was grooming him to be his successor. But then Yorinobu cut himself off from the corp. Joined the Steel Dragons, nomads from Tokyo. Heard they were planning an Arasaka coup, or its downfall. Hmm. That flash of youthful rebellion ended like it usually does. 
Yorinobu returned to the fold, but the bitter taste remained. You know your stuff. But that's only one side of him. There's another. An intelligent man who has his own designs on the corp. Seems to be risking everything with this relic scam. Yes, because he's fallen for the biggest lie this town puts forward. That he can gain and retain control of anything. Okay, what's next? Now comes the best part. Follow me. Got something for you. Should help you plan. Brain dance from Compeki Plaza. How's a brain dance supposed to help? Need facts, not thrills. <laughs> Think BDs are only good for fondling virtual tits? Jacking off to in those boxes? No. They can be a very useful tool. Good for analyzing details, human perception, even boosted. Doesn't grasp. Would you like exactly anything what else? you need. So what's on the tape? Sorry, I Yorinobu's suite. I'll do whatever the glorious I can. interior. You'll need to locate the relic yourself. Hope I grabbed enough detail to make that possible. Hold up. Mean to say you recorded this? Mm-hmm. BD rec implant. Why, you object? Supposed to be Yorinobu's pad on the tape. Means you were inside. You know each other? How else could I get all this intel? I know him pretty well, actually. We have an arrangement. Strictly business. Suits us both, I think. Let's see this brain dance. Judy will help. She's a mox, too. Besides, we go back, uh, years. V, this is important. Judy's always been there for me. Always helped out. I trust her. But she's a mox. Not the latest member of your crew. Try not to forget. So, you'll be a good boy, tread lightly, and keep that tongue on a leash. Relax. Believe it or not, I'm no stranger to tact. In biz or life. Hey, there you are. This is V. He's here for that BD role. And V, this is Judy. Best brain dance editor I know. Enough already. You're gonna make me barf. Sensory SIG amps, acoustic and emotive wave monitors. It's top shelf hardware. Yeah, most of it's customized. Only thing factory are the casings. <laughs> Mod all this yourself? What do you think? Expression translator. Fuyutsuki, right? Thought the matrices on that series were fucked up. They were, but swapping out matrices is simple. And this was the only model that'd support additional scan work. <clears throat> all right, all right. Compiled your BDF. What do you think? Will it do? Still pretty raw, but yeah, ought to do. Mm-hmm. V needs to get deep inside. That's most important. So, let's calibrate. Tune it to him. Believe me, I've dealt with worse. Should see the jig jig street porn we gotta contend with sometimes. So we drop V inside. Let him look, let him rummage around, right? How about it, V? Raw brain dance. Ever taken a dip before? Think I can handle it. Let's just do this. Right oh. Sit down. Settle in. We'll get you going. Gotta create your sensory profile first.
Okay. Hit me. Just promise me it won't hurt. It won't. Not this time. Now, sit still. Look at me. Gonna run the analysis soft. Should feel a slight tingling. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's set the optics and other sensory sigs. Look smack into these two screens. Pretend it's an eye exam. Am I gonna have to do this calibration dance every time? Not necessarily, but it's worth the wait. Give me two more minutes and you'll see exactly what BD analysis is capable of. One more sec. Need to get the pain receptor limiters in. Okay. All set. I need to test your profile first. Tossing in a sample BD. You can use it to get to know the editor. Now let me see. Where could we... Can't he just use my recording? Why are we wasting time? So we don't risk our necks? Sides won't take a sec. We got something here. Should be perfect. This won't take long. Be diving in and Plan simple. Do nothing odd. Don't get creative. You go in, snatch the cash, get out. And we sell the BD to those psycho freaks from the studio. Got it, got it. And remember, everything on full blast. They'll spot us extra for a wicked adrenaline high. Okay, on you go. Down! Everybody! On the ground! I wanna see you kissing the flooring! Money! Now! Or I will fucking drop you! I swear to God! Whoa! Yeah! Hey! I'm, uh, now! Before I blow your fucking head off! Yeah, it's impressive, right? Too bad most of the BDs we do here are only good for flogging the log. Anyway, you ready to do this? Look at your wreck? Dunno, I... Let's take a break. Still feel like that kid when... Oh, yeah. I think I'm done. V, there's no time. Get it together, please. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. Just need T-Bug to link in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Who? Running for my crew, security specialist. She'll tell me what to look for while we analyze. No problem, I hope. Actually, it is a problem. Not what we agreed, Ev. Judy, T-Bug's a professional, discreet to a fault. You can trust her. Why? Because you say so? Please, Judy. I'd never expose you to any danger. You know that. Okay, V. Call T-Bug and we'll dive in. Hey, V. What's happening? Bug, listen. I got some useful footage from Compecky Plaza. It's a brain dance. Compecky? Oh, thought as much. Someone there with you? Unimportant, T-Bug. Please focus. Need your help. Got no clue what I'm supposed to look for once I'm in. All right, see if I can walk you through it. Jacking into your tech now. Mm, you've got to give me access. Opening port 1779. Secure protocol? Good, I'm going in. Should be getting my request... now. Got it. You ready? I'm millisec. Okay, connection confirmed. Now some quick tip ice, and we're clear. Ready to dance. Fire her up, Judy. All right, V. Eyes open. Gotta find out where Yurinobu's keeping the relic. You look like a cut of fuckable meat, are you? Evelyn. She... I felt her fear. 
sure got it under control quick, too. I said no. They'll have my head for this. Shit, camera's packed with new tech. Motion sensors, heat sig activators, IFF. You skilled enough to kill it all? Much Manual details a special tip controlled container. Relic needs to be kept real cool. So, chip's gotta stay in the freezer. Yep, could damage it otherwise. Okay, switch on thermal layer detection in the editor. Should be easier to spot where your Nobu's keeping the chip. Right, grab the heat sig. Matches the spec in the docks. Your Nobu's got the case here, guaranteed. Mm-hmm. We got it. Good work. Looks like we got everything we need. Quit out of the editor. Get everything you need? <sighs> yep. That'll do. Thanks, Judy. We got it. Later, T-Bug. Nice work today. See you soon. I'll wipe the cash on your data. You were never here. Keep it. I'll put it on Ev's tab. Portable device for handling BDs. I already uploaded your calibration settings. Not as sophisticated as what we got here, but should do the trick. And it keeps you out of harm's way. Clever. Speaking of harm's way, know what I see looking at you? Walking, talking corpses. Relax, I got it all under control. If you fuck up and they come knocking on my door... Judy, relax. That's not gonna happen. Evelyn, please. No shortcuts. You go that route, City will always win. So be careful. Of course I will be. Besides, we'll talk in a bit. Thanks, Judy. Really. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. Let's walk. Well, what do you think? So, what now? V, do this job for me. I mean, me alone. No splitting the payout with anyone else. No middlemen. No decks. If I agree, there'll be hell to pay for sure. I know. Whatever you decide, it stays between us. I can offer 50%. Eddie's enough to do whatever the hell you like. I'll be finished. Dex won't forgive a dirt move like this. Dex isn't the only fixer in town. But my offer's the only one you'll ever get. <sighs> Let me think about it. Mm-hmm. If you need me, call. I'll send you my number. Okay. Good luck. Now go. I need a few words. How things looking, Mr. V? Turns out Evelyn's recording from Compeki was worth our time. What? Beautiful. T-Bug already called. Said she's working her magic. And the flathead. Nothing yet. On it now. T-Bug says no chance of that chip without that bond. To work then, Mr. V. Why don't you just tell me the truth? Oh, damn. Got a big problem. My, what a sweet little face you have. out here. Start by telling me how you got this number. No more than your number. Heard you misplaced a convoy. You shut him up! 
Spill what you know. Don't make me wait. Transport fuck-up's toxic for you, I know. So listen carefully. You and me are gonna meet. See if we can't find a way to help each other out. Mutual self-interest. Agreed. First exit off Skyline, driving towards the NID. Storm Channel under the overpass. Meet you there. Look lively. Meredith Stout. Take it you were the one to call? That'd be me. Thought you could blackmail me, fucker! Set conditions! Got any more for me? Get your fucking hands off me! Christ, Meredith! Shut your trap! That fucking thing ready? All set. Now answer my questions. Honestly. Forthrightly. Are you here alone? I'll tell you who's alone. You. Failed to recover that transport and you're done. With not a soul willing to help. Not another word. Do a sweep, now. Now listen close. This piece of shit, Anthony Gilchrist, is he your contact? Is he the one who leaked intel on the convoy? Got no ties to Militech. None. Checks out. So how the fuck do you know so much? Come on. All corps use the same playbook. I know the game inside out. Listen, I know where the transport is. I can help you. Just want a favor in return. <sighs> I told you! I fucking told you! I'm not the mole! Jesus Christ! Shut him up! Unhand me now before I... Him, you can let go. Want to hear what he has to say? I need a bot. Flathead model. Guys who ripped you off have it. Promise me that bot. I'll point the finger. You have a plan how to deal with them? Could just take it by force. But they're expecting payment. So I could go that route, too. Fine. The latter. But on one condition. You pay with our money. That the kind of subtlety they teach at Militech? Ship spiked with a virus. Clearly. That is true. Something goes wrong, I'm the one they'll fill full of holes. Not you. Time you were straight with me. What's on there? A tracing algorithm. Latches on to financial streams. Nothing you need to worry your head about. Sounds solid enough. I'm in. You pay with that chip, and that's all you gotta worry about. Try to fuck me in any way, and I'll be seeing you real soon. You're making a mistake! This gun's already good as dead! And she'll take you down with her! So Dex already paid the Maelstromers for the Corpo bot. Thing is, can't be sure the Gangoons are still willing to hand it over. He paid up front? Ejone. Well, whatever. Let's go get this tech. You scheme yet? You got a plan? That shit can go smoothly. This is Maelstrom. Gang world ain't too complicated. Might's right, the strong survive. Either you fuck others, or you get fucked. So, into the Borg Beast Den. Let's go see these bastards. All right, let's knock on their door. See if they even open up. I hate these Borg fuckers. Just had to be them. Just a gang like any other, right? I'll take the Valentinos. They follow God and the Santa Madre. Honor means something to them. You know what they want, how they get it, and what pisses them the fuck off. 
With Maelstrom, you just never know. Go on, let them know we're here. Want to talk to Royce? Dex sent us. Main room. We've been waiting. Get in the elevator. Fucking shit. Stay cool. They're just trying to spook us. All right, keep chilled, V. Remember, we're on their turf. So what do you want? You got a bot. Model MT0D12. Called the Flathead. And? The hell you care? Guy I represent already paid brick for it. I'm just here for the pickup. I can talk direct to Royce if necessary. Nah. You talk to me. Name's Tum Tum. Now couch. Planet. for you too. I'll stand. This so fucking hard? Fucking ass on the fucking couch! Make me. Thought you'd never ask. See your ass down Jack, for a sit down. This ain't gonna end well, but shit. Well, alright. Come on. Got to lighten up. Take a hit. What is it? A skeef. Shit kicks you in the ass. It's a fucking rush, man. Gotta feel it for yourself. Come on. Give it a whirl. Better. Now we can talk. Here we go. A flathead. Model MT0-D12. Militech's not gonna come looking for it? Fuck them. They can hop around and try. We'll remove the serial number and lifted access locks using our soft. What's yours? It's yours. Need to see it. Suit yourself. Fucking tricked out this thing. Dynamic thermal optic camo armor. Full cognitive immersion with a Raven controller. Pimped out prototype actuators made of titanium vanadium Kevlar composite. And watch this! Fully integrated link too, so when the spider starts crawling up walls dangling from ceilings... Mm-hmm. Could lose your lunch. So what you think? Huh. Raven's not the dedicated control unit for a flathead. Ha! Of course not! Militech controllers auto-link to Militech systems. I mean, you wouldn't want them tracking their stolen tech back to your hands. Yeah, Raven's our baby. Got improved neural sync and no fucking pesky tracing. You ask me, we ought to sell that shit. Yep, we'll take it. Free. Sure. Yeah. Let's see a cred. Brick got it. It's all paid up. Brick got it. I don't see any fucking brick around here, do you? I'm talking to you! Come on. Can't expect me to pay for this thing twice. And who the fuck are you to say what can and can't be? You'll pay twice because I say you'll pay twice. Alright. 
You want the flathead? I better see some eddies. Ask you a question. Seeing as you already got the eddies for it, you ought to offer us a discount. A big one. A discount? Fuck. You know, you never did say who sent you. Never did say who you're working for. Dexter Deshaun. That's who. Dexter Deshaun. The lord ass who punching animal fucked half of Pacifica? <laughs> Man, he ain't dead? No. He's alive, well, and kicking. And he sends his regards. So you're gonna consider my offer now? <clears throat> Bang. Bring it, cocksuckers! Grab the gear. Bot and control shard. Quick! Got the set. Bot and controller. Then let's go. The quicker the better. Now let's get out of here. I'm dying for some fresh air. Detonator. Armed. Guess it's kind of your fault we're here. Came for some tech Dex bot. He tell you to free me? No, just to pick up the bot. Classic fucking Dex. <laughs> Looking a little like we might have saved your skin. Think we'll do a favor, hombre. Jesus, slow down, Mandy. I'll get you, but kind of caught me at a bad time. We ever meet again, I'll have you covered. Everywhere. Past the gate. We can talk there. At the Militech bitch. Bet you didn't expect to see me here. You know, I like the way you operate. Maybe you'd do some more work for us. Be more than glad to. Till next time, then, V. Corporate gods willing. Secure the area. Time we were on our way, Canal. Holy shit, V. I was sure we'd walk out in one piece. Thanks, Jack. Solid as ever. Hey, yeah, you too, but, uh... Hey, what's this about? You feeling all right? Yeah, I want to make sure, you know? We're good together. I like how we do things. I do too, V. I do too. Hey, let Dex know we got his toy for him. And then I say we hit the afterlife. <laughs> you know, do some shots. Hay luego, V. How things looking, Mr. V? Got the bot. And how'd it go? Run into any trouble? And what about the Militech angle? Sure, of course there was trouble. Royce couldn't have given two shits that you and Brick had shaken on. How'd you get him on board? You used the corporal woman? Met with Stout, managed to strike a deal. Well, well. Gave me the chip with the scratch from Maelstrom. So you paid for the flathead with corp cash? No. Decided I could use the Eddies myself. And I just grabbed the bot. Just like that? Not just. Had to use violence. You got some balls, Mr. B. We're all set. Ready to go. What now? Now we do the job I hired you to do. Grabbing that biochip. We'll talk about the rest at the afterlife. See you there. Great. Be there in no time. 
See you, Mr. V. Sí, mamá. Te vas a enterar mañana. Yo también te quiero, ma. Yeah, about time, Holmes. What's new with Senora Wells? Uh, you know, she's worried about me. <laughs> Whatever. Can't help herself, you know? Checking to see if I'm not rotting in some dumpster, like most of the Wells boys. It's really starting to wear on me. The more I tell her everything's okay, the more I feel like I'm straight up lying. But that's done after tomorrow. After life, here we come, baby. <laughs> yeah! Funny. What? For a club with the hottest contracts in town. Doesn't look like all it's bigged up to be. It's what's inside that counts, Chum. Ready to get your cherry popped? Yeah, come on! Place used to be a morgue. You believe that? Who would have thunk? I know, right? Way before our time, that. But proper burials were still a thing. Who might you clowns be? We're friends of Dexter Deshawn. He's expecting us. Yo, Dex. Got two live ones saying they're here to see you. Yeah? All right, then. Says he needs a second or two. Go get yourselves drinks or something. Way ahead of you, viejo. Heart of Night City. That's it right there. Beating. Hear it? Can you imagine? Susan Forrest, Boa Boa, maybe even Morgan Blackhand. All sat on those stools. Fell asleep on that saint. Looks like we're up. Hey, you see that old lady there? That's Rogue. Best fixer in all of Night City. Thought Dex was the best. <laughs> Rogue was lining up jobs when Dex was still shitting in diapers. <laughs> Place belongs to her. What can I get you? You order. Two tequila old fashions with a splash of cerveza and a chili garnish. Duo of Johnny Silverhands coming up. Right on, Chica. Somebody did their homework. Looks like the dog ate mine. Age-old tradition. Drinks are named after our regulars. Say I wanted a drink named after me. What would I have to do? Snuff it. Mind-blowingly spectacular fashion. mid up would be best. Ah, what a beautiful tradition. Tonight's city. And the afterlife! <laughs> Guess dying's a small price to pay for going down in history. Gotta live like a legend first, though, huh? Death. It's nothing but the final flourish. Oh, and by the way, name's Jackie Wells. You wanna write down my recipe? Hmm, sure. Shot of vodka on the rocks, lime juice, ginger beer, oh, and most importantly, a splash of love. <laughs> I'll remember that. Heard you were Dex's latest finds. Just biz, no big deal. Mr. Deshawn, see you now. Break a leg. Thanks. This way.
Damn, Holmes. You're huge. Work out? Hmm. Same here. No, in the ring. You do some kind of exotic shit? Huh? Kempo? Ninjutsu? Hmm. Think you could take me? Drop me? In here. Este pinche tipo. That's right, Excelsior. Cold hard eddies, as per usual. Gotta bounce. Well, if it ain't Mr. V. Whole family in one place. Ha! Finally! First time in real space. And the flathead? Let's see this bad boy. All right, then. Set your butts down comfy. Sweet booth. Is soundproof? Jackie. Now, now. Mr. Wells is right. We're gonna be going over some sensitive material. But if it's all right with y'all, I'd like to start with a question for Mr. V. Evelyn Parker, how'd you fare? Couldn't have gone better. In fact, she liked me so much, she made me another offer. Another offer? Mm-hmm. Kind where we ditched the middleman and split the pot in even 50-50. What? <clears throat> Ditch the middleman? <laughs> Shit, now that's rich. <laughs> Clients never learn, do they? I do appreciate you sharing this info, though, Mr. V. You see, trust is essential in any partnership that's to be long-lasting and fruitful. How about we go over the plan? What you got for us, Dex? This. Well, here goes nothing. Me and Dex have already covered the fine deep. Ops-wise, should be a stroll on the beach. Elaborate. I want to hear it. A Delamain will drop your asses at the front door of Kanpeki Plaza. You'll stroll right in thanks to your false identities. Then, with Bug's help, you'll breach the hotel subnet. Mine and the Flathead's help. Last but not least, you slip into Yorinobu's penthouse and clep the relic. It goes without saying, we do this on the hush. Ideally, no bodies. Not a one. You'll have T-Bug on comms for the duration. Time for your burning questions. These new identities. Tell us more. What's our cover? Hello, Ramon Victorino. And you're Harry Conwell. Ramon? Yeah, okay. What do we say we're there for? Biz as usual. Corpo arms deal. In case anyone asks, you there for a bogus meeting with our Osaka's defense rep, Hajime Taki. Anything else? Transport's a Delamain. Primus cab company in all night city. Not a mall. Deshaun don't ever work with anyone but the best. I consider Delamain just that. Yeah, who needs creepy, nosy cab drivers when you've got a clean AI to get you from point A to B in style? And how he bags a permit to operate every year is still a mystery. If everything goes as planned, Delamain will drop you back here. If things get sticky, you head for the safe house. Which is? The no-tell motel. Quiet, no questions asked. Make our next move from there. But I'm flat certain that won't be necessary. Anything else? How do we get in the penthouse? Your Nobu's got barely any muscle. Hardest part will be penthouse security. If we want to disable, we'll need to neutralize Konpeki's dweller, Elite Runner monitoring the hotel subnet 24-7. Only catch is there's no way to get in the dweller's den from the outside. Oh, hold on. How you want us to get inside a room you can't get into? Trust me when I say whatever hit you think of, T-Bug solved it already. This is where the flathead comes in. You'll have to get him in the ventilation shaft, guide him to the dweller, and force the dweller to... take a break. 
Flathead will stay there, jacked into the dweller. But thanks to that, I'll be able to roll out your red carpet into the penthouse. Anything else? Okay, Phil brought up to speed. Perfect. I got a question. When do we get to the real reason we're all here? Now's a good time as any. Fresh talent gets 30% always. But I'm willing to make an exception in your case. I'm gonna cut you a nice juicy 40 as a bonus for your honesty, V. That's more like it, Dex. Ka-ching, baby. Last thing, Kompeki's got a strict no-iron policy. Security gates, the works. So you dogs will leave your lead spitters in the ride. Take the flathead inside in its case. Got some deft suits, so you'll look the part, too. Chido. Thanks, T. So, not to count chickens, but why don't we see our eddies? All depends how Miss Parker avails herself of her role, but a week, two tops is my guess. And what do we do while waiting? Sit around, suck air? You sit tight, heads down, cause old Uncle Arasaka be watching. Now, as that old Greek dog says, life's a banquet, so don't go thirsty, but don't get drunk either. Your chariot awaits outside. My cue to Delta Two. Gotta prep to jack in. Be there when you come on comms. Any other issues, now's your chance. Plan. What's your take? Enough, I hope, to put me in a luxury Cretan villa from which I'll never set foot in cyberspace again. Promise to send me a postcard? No offense, but I'm gonna burn any and all bridges. Need a clean break. Thanks for your help back at the scav haunt. A few Reapers less in the city. Good thing. <laughs> city Hall should be fucking thanking us. I'm good, no questions. Let's get to work. So you ready to get going or what? Let's roll. No point in waiting. Ain't getting rich, you mean? Welcome on board this Delamain service. With Delamain, you leave your problems at the door. Son of a bitch. Better fucking believe I will. I see no reason why you should be using expletives. Oh, yeah? What about that time I wanted to hire you for my cousin's bachelor party, huh? Unfortunately, we do not take on such contracts. Three months I'd been saving up scratch. Eh, water under the bridge. Hit it, Del. Before we begin our journey, I must verify the identities of all customers. Please proceed to connect your personal links. Thank you. Excelsior package activated. Excelsior? Oh, this just keeps getting better! Excelsior. The Excelsior is a package tailored to our premium clientele. Top quality don't come free, you know. Now watch. Delamain, initiate combat mode. My apologies, but you do not appear to be in any sort of imminent danger. Huh. Oh well. Trust me. You'll mow down an army of Saka Ninjas if it comes down to it. Dex ain't skimping, is he? And thanks to you, we're still getting a juicy 40%. You're welcome. Excelsior. This is how you want to cruise into the major leagues. Wouldn't get overly excited. Hmm? Haven't gotten there. Not yet. Dunno, Jack. Kinda feels like you're losing that steel grip of yours. Huh. Seems to me like it's you who's got some kind of problem. Never mind. Delete that. Forget about it. Deleted and forgotten. Madres V. This is the most important day of my fucking life. things smooth as fucking sandpaper we'll be uh pulling up to the hotel soon listen set up a direct encrypted line to guide you through compeki 
V ring Jackie now, see if we're in sync. Can't be too careful. And? Mm, got static. Say something, Bug. The greatest crimes issue from a desire for excess and not from necessity. Say what now? We are Aristotle. nearing our destination. Guess you read me then. Yeah, I read you. Not so much your Greek friend. Though it was kind of exciting. Could give it some thought. Try to understand. How about you, V? Read you loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Tech checks out, looks like. Será mejor que sí. Stay in touch. Thank you for choosing the Delamain service, and best of luck. I shall await here for your return. It's finally happening. Almost forgot, no iron, huh? All right, Harry. Let's go. Hold on. Let me grab the flathead. We're out front, Bug. Member, reservations in your name, Ramon. You're there to meet Hashime to Taki, Kentucky military flat. tech department rep. Papers are for the flathead. Don't worry. Got this. Children models are worth nothing. Okay. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. Please come through single file. Yes. You got it, home. Uh, <clears throat> sir? <clears throat> Hold on. Got something. Care to explain why you're bringing military equipment onto the premises into Compeki Plaza? We're arms dealers. Excuse me? Ah, you are here to see Taki-san. Am I right? Please, accept my apologies for the confusion. This should only take a moment, sir. Go ahead. Yokoso. Greetings and welcome to Kompeki Plaza. We'd like to check in. Of course. Just a moment, please. The name on the reservation is? Victorino. Double room. Two adults, one night, correct? That's the one. Perfect. I'll go ahead and notify Taki-san of your arrival. Shit, no good. Not part of the plan. Talk her up, V. Stall. That won't be necessary. We'll go freshen up first, notify him ourselves. But Taki-san is expecting you, no? Senorita, do you know how long we've been traveling? Eighteen hours from New Barcelona. With a delay on Medici, cause some cybercycle blew himself into bits inside the terminal. Oh, a nightmare. Of course, I understand. You'll be in the Lapis Lazuli suite on level 42. Oh, one more little formality. Please validate your SID chip. Hunter's all yours, Harry. Everything seems to be in order. We wish you a pleasant stay. Thank you. Better get going. New Barcelona, really? It's called improvising. You should try it. What do you think, Harry? Hmm? Quaint, cozy. Not like the hotel we had in Zurich for that convention. Don't need that, Jack. Enough. What? I'm taking this seriously. Shabby. 
the top of the line door. Welcome to Compeki Plaza. We don't do reservations weekdays, so feel free to grab any available table. Or a couple of stools at the bar, if you prefer. Could bring Misty here one day, when we uh, close this deal. You will, I'm sure. Now let's go check out our digs. Nailed the part or what? <laughs> How do I look? Can't believe I'm saying this, but not bad at all. Yeah, I look good in everything. I just feel weird. Sew it up again. Right. Now you can kick the rat out of the corp, but you'll never kick the corp out of the rat. Well, here we are. La Peace Lazuli. We're in our room. Pretty snazzy. Too bad we ain't staying the night. Nice choice, Buck. Didn't pick it for snaz. Offers quickest access to the dweller and servers. Si, si, me acuerdo. Now you fire up the flathead and find the shaft entrance. Sounds simple enough. Simplicity sometimes toughest to master. Aurelius? Aristotle? Who's it this time? Yours truly. That one's mine. Where's the shaft? Boot up your scanner. Look around. Got a winner. Good. Jackie, how's the flathead looking? All set. Systems are operational. Charge it a hundred. Mierda. Little gonk stock. Just gonna stand there and look at it? Gonna have to switch to manual control. V, take the control shard from Jackie. Gonna link your Kiroshis to surveillance so you can guide the bot. Here. Here goes. Flathead stays, right? To keep an eye on the dweller, yeah. Punching into Compeki's main net. You go ahead and log out. Así es como se hace. How are you feeling? Fine. A little dizzy, that's all. Bug, how you doing on time? You there, Bug? Yeah, yeah, I'm here. So, listen, ice is thicker than I thought. Piercing it'll take a couple hours. Couple hours? Can't do it any faster. Want my brain to burst into flames? Just sit down and enjoy your snazzy sweet. Thanks. I will. V, uh, you take it easy, okay? Rest up a bit. What do you think? Why'd he give it all up? Hmm? Who gave what up? Yorinobu Arasaka. The good life, I mean. Old news, I know. Just got to thinking's all. It's like, think. You got everything, right? Eddie's education. Your pops can snap his fingers and turn half the fucking planet into a nuclear wasteland. But instead, you're like, nah, fuck it. And what do you go do? Start a fucking gang. <laughs> Steal dragons or some shit. You ghost from your fam, chip some real skin, and play gang leader for a few years. For what? Said it yourself. You can kick the rat out of the corp. But you'll never kick the corp out of the rat. Probably just got bored. All one percenters do, sooner or later. <laughs> fucking tourist. Tourist or not? He just walked into the lobby. And we are back in biz. 
Penthouse security is neutralized. Perfecto. Let's start the show. Hey, Bug. Where, uh... Were you on comms that whole time? Three and a half hours. Uh... About that stick up the ass. Mean the one up mine? Uh, slip of the tongue, you know? I know. Now's your chance to make up to me. This is going pretty smooth, right? Right? Man, are you the silver lining type. Hey, when are you gonna wave off that dark cloud hanging over your head? I'm telling you, it's downhill from here on in. The awkward silence. You, uh, wanna hear a joke? Now? Seriously? Okay. So why'd the rocker boy's output kick him out of the apartment? Because he wasn't chipping in. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Huh. Not bad being heir to the Arasaka Empire. Sure is shit better than being a son of Raul Wells. Guys! Focus. The safe. And make it quick. Why? What's the rush? Sing on your Nobu's gone dark. What is it, a fucking sorcerer? Some kind of dead zone's my guess. Have him back in a sec. And you do your damn job. Bingo! Got something ejecting. Come here, V. What now? Check in your personal and make us rich. On it. Your turn, Bug. Give me two. They got winged visitors. Bug! Uh, don't know who. But staff's a buzz. All 200 on their feet can't keep still. Can't say I like this. <sighs> How much longer, T? Shit, you're a Nobu's penthouse bound. Fuck him! Open the safe! Almost got it. Done. Cream. Let me look to this, huh? Relic intact? Bioshard integrity, 100%. I guess then that's a yes. Good, let's go. Fuck, too late. Yorinobu's about to walk in. Find cover. Where? That pillar, try that. Are you fucking kidding? No, inside it now. We're in. Which don't solve our problem, T. I fucking know our problem's still there. Let me think for a sec, okay? Is that... I thought Adam Smasher. Bodyguard. Wars. Night City legend. Bleak motherfucking one too. What's the play? We wait. Are they here yet? They approach from the landing pad? Fuck are they talking about? Bug, who we got incoming? Nuh-uh. No fucking way. This isn't happening. Saburo Arasaka? The Emperor? Yet another ass-licking legend. Shush. Doubt this could be soundproof.
私が気づかないとでも思ったのかそもそも俺のことを気にしたことなんかないだろうあんたの問題点はそこだ世界は自分中心に回ってると思ってる傲慢だよ頼信どうしてここへ直々に俺に屈辱を合わせ立場を思い知らせるためにか出る杭が打たれるとよく言うだろう自分の言葉じゃ何も言えないのか貴様こそ自分が何をしようとしたか分かっているのか私たちの功績を野蛮人に渡すなど私たちの未来を<笑>俺たちの未来俺たちなんかの間違いだろあんたは自分のことしか考えてないそしてこの会社のことしか《いつかこのような日が来ることは分かっていた貴様はついに越えてはならない一線を越えたのだこれまでお前の愚行には目をつぶってきただがそれもここまでだ》この裏切りだけは決して許せぬ貴様の母親が生きていなくてよかった息子の不甲斐ない姿を目の当たりにして心を痛めずに済んだのだからなもしこれでもう誰のことも許す必要はないサブロー・アラサカ、has been murdered。コブレ・イニシエイティアテンション、コブレ・has been initiated throughout k e n p e k i Plaza。Please remain in your rooms and follow all instructions given by staff。何の騒ぎです誰かが、誰かが父に毒を持った。毒をそうです。よりどぶさん、しかし。竹村、お前の仕事は何だ何の話です単純な質問だ答えろ荒坂家の課長を守ることです今後はもっとしっかり責任を果たすよう望んでいるぞお許しください荒坂様決して失望はさせませぬ Just happened in there? You're an Obu. Just offed Suburo. What? <laughs> so fucking pops. Know what this means? Security's gonna swarm the place any second. Oh my god, we're so fucked. Where is your Nobu? I don't. I don't know. I've lost cam links. The whole building's being put on lockdown. Okay, so b o r o fucking Arasaka's dead. Weird to even say it. Releasing the lock. Should see a ladder. Ladder. Oh, fuck. Oh, no, 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 not now. I've been made. Fuck! b i t c h Dios Santo Bendito. Just lost T. Fuck! Fucking Major Leagues. Happy now, Jackie? Look at the w i t c h e 
Jackie. Just don't look down. <sighs> yep. That's fucking high. Shit. That trauma? If they're here for Saburo, they're a little late. Just hope they didn't see us. Chips integrity at Jackie? Eighty-six percent. Eighty-six percent and dropping. Shit. Okay, listen to me. There's only one thing you can do. One of you's gotta slot the relic into your neural port. B, you there? What the hell are you talking about? The relic can't be isolated. It has to be nested in a safe environment. Well. Someone's got to do it. En el nombre del Padre, el Hijo y del Espíritu Santo. Amén. Jackie, you okay? No, no. I guess. Once you're back, we'll take out the relic and run a full brain scan and sweep. But you two need to get the fuck out of there first. We're working on it! Del, we'll be there in a couple. Be ready. Got it? Certainly, Mr. Wells. Better be fucking certain. We're gonna somehow reach the lobby. Only chance to hit the garage. Mm. And we best be quick. Oh, what I see. Great. Now let's get out of here. I'm leaking a little. Delamain got it! Welcome back. Delamain, you can get problems in the door. Why have problems if you don't fucking drive? Not bad. Client feedback noted. How's our ride looking? Tip top. Though alas, we are being pursued. Sweet fucking tip. Delamain! Please remain calm. Calm! Roadblock ahead. <laughs> a hostile enemy aircraft has a lock on us. Leave it to me. Ah, I can't just give up.
few. Please work there. Till. We did it, Jackie! We fucking made it! <laughs> I guess we did. My medical diagnostics indicate that Mr. Wells' condition is critical. Take us to a ripper, Doc! Now! Apologies, but that will not be possible. Our itinerary has been prearranged and paid for in advance. I am not at liberty to alter it. Fuck your liberty! Do what I say! It's okay, V. <laughs> Hold out. I suggest you try to keep Mr. Wells conscious. It's gonna be alright, huh? You'll see Misty, your mom, everyone you love. Jackie, don't close your eyes. <sighs> Misty. I know. She always knew. <sighs> the <coughs> biochip. Hold on to it. For me. has passed. Where shall I take his remains? What? The Excelsior package provides for the disposal of passenger remains free of charge. I merely require a destination. I want to be with his family. Mr. Wells's closest blood relative is Guadalupe Alejandra Wells, proprietress of the El Coyote Coho Bar. I will make sure to deliver him safely. Mr. Deshawn awaits you in room number 204. See you in the major leagues, Jack. He waiting. WNS, N54, even the pirate networks. You blown up everywhere. And the Jackster, he out in the car? Yeah, he's there. Dead. Condolences, friend. And the relic. Got it right here. Hmm. I was afraid of that. What? Saburo Arasaka. Dead. You got any notion of the shit you pulled me into? You off the fucking Emperor! His Majesty! Anyone with so much as a pinky toe dipped in this mess is as good as dead! You're the one who got us into this mess. Let's start with your prep work. You had no idea Saburo Arasaka could be at the hotel. I don't have access to his personal fucking schedule. And besides, nobody asked you to kill the old man. That wasn't us. No shit. Tell that to the soccer ninjas they send after you. All right, settle down. Gotta be tactical about this. Parker, Eddie's. Then we leave the city limits behind. But first, your face got blood all over it. Bathroom's there. Go get yourself cleaned up.
Alright then. Can't risk it, V. Remember our this? first convo? What the fuck? Seems I've chosen the quiet life after all. No blaze of glory for me. been better. Sure don't look it. I can't let you on! Hey, hey, we're chill! Tonight, I'm... I'm here to say goodbye to all of you. Money's money, can't fuck around with it. You're wasting your lives following us around like dogs. Uh huh. I curled up your ass. Rain dance? Nice. Then we can talk. How much do you want for it? Johnny! Wait up! Don't do this! You could still change your mind. Get over here, man. Fuck this band. Not your crowd, not your noise. Do your own thing. Bastard. Shh. Gonna miss you something awful. See you in the next life, friend. Change my mind. Silverhand. Hey, shameless. Get us in the air. Here, put this on, and it stays on. Got it?
taking over. Payload on the elevator. Arm it. Let gravity do its thing. Exit window checking in. Tight. Is grass green? Do birds fly? Do cats eat bats? Do rats shit bats? Mainframe's not your playground, Murphy. Come on! Evac announcement! Broadcast it across all frequencies and let's get moving! Sheesh. Who wrote this manifesto? Really need me to answer that question? Jesus, Johnny. You've gone off the deep end. That's coming from a chair jock. Come on! Murph? She sought it with thimbles, she sought it with care. Pursued it with forks and hope. Johnny! Payload! Bushido 2. Bomb's name is what? Wrap it up! We got a Delta! The Demolitron. We're good to blow. Shaka Elite incoming! There, Run Johnny. for it! Not done yet. Still need to feed this to their subnet. I fucking knew it! This was never about corporate colonialism. This was about your groupie output, wasn't it? No, you wouldn't understand, Rogue. Giving you four fucking minutes! Chopper's not gonna wait one sec longer. Door lock breached. Arasaka sons of bitches incoming. Love you, Spider. All world yeah. loves me. Oh. We need him. Closing in on the access point. Slide in. Sweet icebreaker. Foreign, right? Just wonder if we know anyone who can switch the subnet protocol. Hilarious. You gonna help or not? Do spiders spin webs? It's time we caught some flies. Thanks, Murph. Now, just for good measure. Holy cyber cow. We're on TV. Take we a look. now to Arasaka Tower. It's evacuation ongoing after an unidentified terrorist organization released a manifesto threatening violence. The terrorists stating their desire to, quote-unquote, topple a monument to corporate colonialism. Night City's mayor, Mbole Ebunike, has issued a statement declaring that he will bring the full force of the law to bear in response to any act of terrorism. Going now to our reporter on the scene at Arasaka Tower. Hopefully he can shed some light on the situation as events unfold. All set. Now get out of there. They're moving up. Hit the roof quick. you, Johnny boy. Told you I'd end you someday. Hey, 
まだ生きていますわかりました向かいます Try once more. Your associates. Who are they? How did you acquire fistful material? Gonna give good cop over there a chance to say something? Come on. <sighs> Which terrorist organization do you belong to? How did you acquire fistful material? <sighs> Hey, Gramps. I know you. Hazusi. Jokesetsu hanashi o suru. Hot damn. Done and gone. My husband died in that tower. But there are fates worse than death. I didn't want him to die. Naze, kono yona koto. Why did you do this? To bring an end to the madness you. ウソつき自分自身を欺く。だが、シャワは違う。シャワは有便だが、彼らは決してウソをつかない。死者の言葉には慎ましさがある。始めろ。And you? Who are you? Ah...
Ugh, heavier than he looks. Now, listen, dog. I have done exactly what you asked. So let's you and me figure this out. あ、ひどい匂いだ。attention. Do you know a Reaper Doc whom you can trust? I've seen them before. Troy. The exterminators. We must get to Reaper Doc. Quickly. Victor will fix us up. We have to get there somehow. Call someone. Anyone. All right, all right. Greetings. My scanner indicates you are outside the service area. Just come pick me up. I need to get to Misty's Esoterica. In front of Vix. Of course. 
A vehicle is en route. It should arrive in less than 20 minutes. What are you doing? Hey! The personal link is damaged. Please proceed to insert the jack below the ear, though not too deep. There should be auxiliary neurosockets between his lymph nodes, beneath the SCM muscle. If I hit a vein by mistake, he will die. Indeed, as he will if you do nothing. I think I have the socket. Now proceed to connect. Let's get him inside. I cannot hold it. I need to rest. That your blood? Misty! Pressure's tanking! It's neurogenic shock. He's dying. Gotta cut my way through the occipital bone. No other way. There is risk of... I know what I'm doing. How is he? Slower on the men than you, but looking better every day. How are you feeling? I don't know, Vic. Ears are ringing. And I'm seeing shit. These hallucinations. Describe them to me. Blinding lights. It's loud. I'm on stage and I almost can't breathe. I'm so damn full of... hatred. Then I let it all out into a mic. And I realized it didn't help. I don't feel any better. And then, <laughs> promise not to laugh. I plant a bomb in Arasaka Tower. Nothing there to laugh about. Night City looked different, strange. And I hated it. I hated everybody, every inch. It was too real, even for a lucid dream. You weren't dreaming, V. Those were memories. There's a personality construct on that shard. Dreams you had were from his past. Hang on. I mean to say there's an actual terrorist in my head. Right now. That's right. Johnny Silverhand. Had his crowning moment about 50 years ago. AHQ bombing. Heard of it? It's his doing. People say he was buried under the rubble. <sighs> anyway, that's not what's important right now. Think you can top the terrorist in my brain? Biochip. It's basically a bomb.
fuse lit already. You don't have much time left. Much... life. A few weeks, tops. Silverhand's construct is overriding your consciousness. Gradually taking over your body until... one day you'll just be... gone. V, it's important you get all this. You'll fix me up, right? Vic? If I could, I would, V. Believe me. But this is... It's way beyond what I know how to do. You're the best of the best, Vic. Why can't you help me? You want the long story or the short? Don't admit a thing, not one deep. Okay. There was, is, a construct, a psyche on the chip, out of Johnny Silverhand. You jacked it in your chip slot. Nothing happened, right? Until you died. Bullet in the head from Dexter to Sean. But how do you come back from something like that? Low caliber, you lucked out. Not least thanks to another poor decision by Mr. Deshaun. The nanites off the chip started fixing the damage. Then they took your hand and coaxed you off the path toward the light. People don't just die and get up like nothing happened. Used to be true. Now it's only if they don't have a classified piece of corpo tech primed to resurrect them. What about me? My psyche? I'll make it back from the other side and what? I'm supposed to pretend change is normal? Ask the Arasaka engineers who built the thing. All I know is your mind's gonna go. And it won't be pretty. From the biochip's perspective, your brain cells are a tumor that needs to be scooped out. While your body's an empty shell to hold the construct. So this fucking terrorist wants to wipe me and take my place, take my body. It's not willful on his part, it's automatic. Inevitable. And neither of you can stop it. Fuck. I remember this thing. Saw it on TV. What was that stupid slogan? Soul something? Secure your soul. But that's it. It's just supposed to let you communicate with constructs. Maybe. But this is a prototype, by the look of things. Somehow made it out of Arasaka Labs. Can't we just take the chip out? Or switch it off? Either way is out of the question. You die immediately. Vic, you've always come through for me. If there's nothing you can do to help me, then... Well, what the hell do I do? Tell me, please. Vic. I wish I knew, kid. Misty? You're asking too much from an old-timer like Vic. Come on, V. Let's get you home. And then he died. And I thought I was gonna die. With him in my sleep. Sleep's a small hint of death. The inevitable. Can't actually tell if I'm awake now. I mean, I could be dead already, right? Not something to focus on, V. Let it go. Here, got some meds for you. Omega blockers. Taken regularly, they'll keep things from progressing too quickly. 
Also, they should keep that guest of yours calm and quiet. Pseudoendotrizine's from me. Effect will be opposite. It'll speed things up. Free the demon, so to speak. I gotta lie down. Here. Got one more thing for you. Vic pulled this out of your skull. A lucky charm? Promise you'll try to get some sleep? Misty, wait. Uh, about Jackie. Yeah? He talked about you. Like lots. We got into a fight. Right before he went off to do this job. He wasn't mad at you. I hope you know that. I know. I just wish our last moments together could have been... different. But right now, you need rest. So sleep. Please sleep. Gotta get out of here, understand? And I'll kill anyone who gets in my way. You included. Need a smoke. Where'd you stash yours? smoke then go out and get some just need one last one jesus fucking christ man the fuck kind of joy toy are you supposed to be fucking ghost off <laughs> who you work for start talking fuck Fucking chip. Rip the thing out myself. No, wait! Never, asshole. Now like that, stick some iron in your mouth and pull the trigger. Ah! I can feel it. Our minds touch on you. I'm like mold on fruit creeping into you. Nothing I can do about it. You hear me? I'd puke if I fucking could. It's just a copy of the engram. 
I'm out there somewhere. Gotta be. Leave me alone! Get out! Get Just get, get the out. fuck out! Led to the head only thing that will fix this. Hear me, asshole? A bullet to the fucking brain! Fuck me. V. Nice to see you. Oye, sit. Sit. You want a beer? Wouldn't mind one. Salud. A lot of time has passed. How you been? Hanging in there somehow. Somehow. You could have come over for dinner. Nuestra casa es tu casa. Hmm. But okay. We put it behind us. Hmm? I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that. Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. Want to take part in the ceremony, but... Want to do it the right way, in line with tradition. Mm-hmm. But something I'd lay by his casket, that'd do justice to his memory, I... I don't got anything. Mm. But your heart is in the right place, mi niño. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. Ahí te veo. Hi, V. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well... Human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. Maybe. But that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. You mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon? No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. 
Jackie would want you here. That's more important. Come on. Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie. Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. Jackie loved to pump iron, didn't he? He called it his form of meditation. He used to say, barbells are the best listeners. They understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. Have you read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the Ofrenda, though. Jack. Pure and simple. Well, you got something for your Ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? Love to poke around engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it's a miracle he never wiped out. Locked. I wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. Might be tucked away somewhere? Found it. Oh, Jackie. Is that a... mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey, you all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. An aquarium. It used to be tacos. And taco was... His fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh, I don't think he bought it. Leather belt. Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back. Kicked his butt. Told him he'd kill him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why'd he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. It's gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Jackie's favorite tequila. Oh, still sealed. 
It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. What? The founder of Sansan Tequila? Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. Well, how'd Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him de Abajo had stolen her recipe. Better get going. Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. You gotta come, Misty. You got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. So? Shall we go? You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning? Packed my bags and hopped on a plane to Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window and my neighbors hollering. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. P. It's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Hey, V. I thank you all for coming today. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, No te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, ol, 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 honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. Feels like it happened a century ago. At another time. In another place. 
Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. Best friend you could ask for. Loyal to a fault. Once he set his mind to something, he was ready to die to achieve it. He once told me, Broder, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, He'd sacrifice his life, without hesitation, but most importantly... Jackie loved life and had no fear. Hard on his sleeve, he didn't overthink things. He just went for it. Thought he was bulletproof, and, and that he'd become legend at the afterlife. And ultimately... He did what he set out to do. Shit in the shoes of some powerful people. And if he's watching, I bet just about now, he's flipping them all the bird. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Chum. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful ofrenda we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. Her name is Misty. What? Misty. And she was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. You know what? You're a good man. Jackie would want you to have these. Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Cuídate, B. It. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What's it you actually want from me? To begin. You must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn? What's she to you? She and Yorino Varasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him. You're thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Why you figure she skipped town? I tried to locate her, but had no success. I suspect she covered her tracks. You said Parker could help you remove the relic. Does she work for a corporation? Don't think so, no. Can you expand? Don't matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings. By lunch, that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. Only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I too stink of skullduggery? Nope. You're starting to stink. Period. Mm. Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka. 
must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prep for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard Let me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. Defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo-sama's killer. Rogue's well-informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. 
Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. Dolma is choosy, expensive, and rude. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Your noble Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Paka woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. What do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dickwipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. Hey! Haven't I seen you here before? Got a good memory for faces. We're closed right now. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She in her den? Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Just don't let me catch you messing around, okay? What the fools to do with them all? I don't. Must be our rep. Girl, you so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. You just don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Seem to know how the heist went. Meaning you did talk to her. I know how you fucked up. Got all your Jumbas killed like a real pro. Caught some lead myself, too. Boo hoo. Occupational hazard for you, Mercs. Sure, I took a risk. We all did. But it was Evelyn who gave it to us in the first place. She knew what this was from the start. Fine. Looks like we're all in this piss pot together. But you're desperate. Writing's on your face.
Okay, let's just say I'm pretty much fucked. Biochip we clipped during the heist is killing me. Albeit slowly. Evie commissioned the job. I know how to stop that. That's why I need to know who hired her. Huh. Let's say I believe you. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. I'd look for her there. Where is that? Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Maggot's hour. Luxurious. Wait. Um. Just let me know how she's doing. Okay. I'll give you a call, okay? Thanks. Thank you, V. not surprised. You're an engram in a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? The way I see it, only thing waiting for you here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. If I miss this time, enlighten me. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Think Judy's lying. Why? Little something called intuition, V. Ever heard of it? Oh, so what you meant to say was you're full of shit. Got it. Welcome to Clouds. Where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now, bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. You should see compatible dolls in just a second. matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky rather go with sky i couldn't have chosen better myself now for the payment and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Sky awaits you in booth nine. Disconnect, please. Is that it? <clears throat> We have a strict no-weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Sad. Go eat a dick, Johnny. Clouds is one of the safest... We hope you enjoy your stay. Guess that makes you a real deviant. Would have had more choices if I didn't have a certain brain parasite. Yeah. 
Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be... Vincent? Welp, looks like this'll be interesting. So, V... You're dying. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside. You fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. I asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. Think you know me well? Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone too. Except, won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared, because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? It wasn't so long ago I really wanted that. But then all this shit happened. Seems like I was living in a dreamland. I just want the world to know that I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased. As if you never existed. Or is it just the fear of becoming someone else? Different? Death is death is death. You're gone, game over. You can't know that for certain, even if you've been there and back. Believe me, I've seen it, and it's fucking boring. You haven't stopped grieving since, or for what's to come. What I've been through, tough to move on from that. Death was something that happened to other people. Hell, that I dealt to others. Now my number will be up. Wasn't enough I died once. Have to go and do it again. Death's absurdity. The futile struggle before. These terrify you. <sighs> so what now? Now. You find out what it is you need. Which is... you're gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should've. You go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going where you need. How do I keep up with everything that's changing? You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it all to the ground, then let it burn. 
Thanks, uh, for all this. Jeez, don't even feel like getting up. Few do, but everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. I need to talk to you. Talk? You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. I need this info. Name your price. Fuck you, your Eddies and that girl of yours. I could get fired for doing something like this. I'll make it worth your while. All right, fine. Hand it over and get out before you land me in the shit. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her, but that's all I know. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody'd care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. The customer attacked her. I guess. I don't know. Real mess that was. Security barged in, handled it. Things went silent. You don't go around asking questions here. Better off not seeing, not hearing. Keeping your head down. Where did it happen? Her booth. Told you. She was with a client. Gonna just stand there, or tell me a number. Eleven. Need to get inside that booth somehow. Yeah, and do what? None of your biz. Can you open it or not? Sure. Just don't bother me again. Ever. Talk to Tom. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. What do you think? An XBD star? Where will I find him? VIP area. Booth 2, I think. Thanks. See? You turn out to be useful after all. What will you have? Any you better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex zombies in a single day is too much. Even for me. Hi! Um... I I think something might have gone wrong here. Not really sure, uh... I don't have your details? Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. You sure you- need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Try calling her a bunch of times. No luck. You mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. That accident involved a client, did it? Found blood in her booth. Ah, uh, You know, shit like that happens here sometimes. And everyone's cool with that. We get new implants, recovery leave, and, well, sometimes even a payout. Now that I think about it, it is weird she went away so far. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Nah, just didn't show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... 
I asked Woodman what was up. Told me she left, like I said. Woodman. Who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest, then. What's his thing? He's kinda like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Wait. No clients allowed in here. Be a chum and close the door on your way out, would you? As you can see, I'm very busy. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over at Booth, too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. You look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho prick who's never been ghosted by his bow or bill before. But go on. I'm listening. You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and think you've got it made, don't you? Congrats! You read minds better than our own fucking AI. Someone get this gonk a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the tiger claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger claw bosses have got their own bosses. In case you didn't know, you're just too small to see him. <laughs> oh, cause you're such a big shot. Let's just say a certain member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on you straight. Girl you're looking for, Parker? She ain't here. Tell me something I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here. But you don't know shit. Dolls aren't here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their job's to generate profit. Evelyn stopped pulling profit. No denying that, sadly for her. I saw what she did to the client. She gets spiked or something? Whatever or whoever fried her circuits, it came from outside our subnet. They played their deck like a virtuoso. Her chip was fucking rot. Believe you me, we tried to fix it. Didn't even come close. Is this you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. You invested your own eddies to help poor, unprofitable Evelyn. Please. <laughs> you got me. Ripper's the one who paid me. For a broken doll. People got all kinds of kinks. Trust me. I know, considering where I work. Fingers is a real specimen, though. Got all the fetishes. Even the ones you've never heard of. I'm sure he found her a nice niche. <laughs> the Ripper. Name and address. 
Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. Quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. You may take your weapons. A pleasant day to you. The next time you have that urge for clouds, don't wait. So hold on. You Got a real charm, ball. this place. In that slimy, that's subterranean that's kind that's of way. I think Fingers got her. I think we'll find her there. V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost on a chip in a corpse's head right now. Me, right. No feeling going on, no thinking. See, your opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. condition to find help. Oh, oh fuck! fuck. <laughs> the hell's that? No, 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 no damn, it. damn it! Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. I'm gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. Wanted me dead. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. <laughs> Asked you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half-century-old score neat settling, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. Never been recruited into a terrorist cell before. Feel kind of honored, actually. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life, who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so... This Makoshi, what is it exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer. 
An AI. To trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. Following so far? Sure. That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Mikoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Still don't see how Mikoshi's linked to my chip problem. Not the brightest bulb on stage, are you? Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Mikoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? This time, bombs named Alt Cunningham. I'm supposed to know who that is? Not yet. But you will once we find what we need. For now, we got no time to lose. Need to get inside, Makoshi. I called, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock, goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck V. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Hey, hands off! Think I'm scared of your skinny ass? You will be when every mox in town descends on this shithole. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. You pussy. And leave me be. Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Hope that teaches those candy-ass scotch suckers me, not to hey. come around here no more. Hello? There's a line. Nuh-uh, you ain't cutting. Sit your ass down and wait your turn. V, get it together. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. You talk to Fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docs in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls? See if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That, or come up with something better. Fingers a friend to the working guys and girls around here? Helped me. I'd be in a wheelchair if it wasn't for him. He chipped you some chrome with real skin that had peeled off. What he replaced it with looks like a bathroom floor from a senior home. Better than being a cripple. Here. This ought to cover you for some real chrome, from a real ripper. If you're flush enough to afford a real ripper, then what are you doing here? Hell do you care? He here cause he feel like it. Now thank the man unless you and me Delta. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner Come on, let's go. I think he's done. We going in? Your eyes will adjust. 
Eventually. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Need a minute of your time. A minute? That's all? Shame. Could watch those juicy lips of yours flap for hours, days. <laughs> but I'm busy right now. You tiger claws! Far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks? Why didn't you say so? So, what brings you here? Evelyn Parker. I need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite okay. derrieres down. Forest. Name mean anything to you? Nope. They call him Woodman. Works at the dollhouse. You... you talk to him? Woodman and I, we had a talk. Told me he brought her here to you. Said you paid him for her. What good was she to you? <laughs> you must have misheard. First of all, I didn't pay in any for her. He paid me to take her in. Second, I never laid eyes on those eddies in the end, cause I couldn't rejig her implant. So he left her with me as payment for my efforts. Uh, I can't fucking listen to this. We are talking about a living, breathing person. Half alive. Technically. Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. The point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Jude, calm down, okay? You're not helping. Let me do the talking. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where will we find her? I like you. <laughs> You're frisky. Intrepid. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and... Picked her up the same day. Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? Wakako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. 
They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gonk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gonk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm, your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Temper's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. Handsomer, too. I let her go back to clouds. Could have stopped her, but I didn't. And you two got along swimmingly, didn't you? Exchange numbers, too. Two birds of a fucking feather. Don't worry. We'll find her, I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together. You wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. It's better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. It could be we'll see something to point us in their direction and one of their virtues. Ugh, have to be real gonks to leave a clue. Everyone, everything, leaves something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. Has an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful. Let me think for a sec. I think I'll try calling Wakako. Fix her fingers mentioned. I thought of an angle to run on her? Why would I need one? Even if she knows the studio's location, she's not gonna spill. Be putting her neck on the line. Huh. Okay. I'm buying the brain dance. We can analyze, play detective. Fine. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. V, nice surprise. What is it you need? Looking for a brain dance. Oh, any particular one? Logo on the casing. A death's head moth. Whoa, now. That's quicksand. So I would advise caution. Can you get me one of those recordings? No, but I have a pretty good idea who can. Who'd that be? There's a store on Jig Jig Street. It has a Pandora's box worth of crap inside. Try asking the owner. 
Thanks, Waco. Why do you think I came here? So You're looking for uh something special. A brain dance to really You mean smut? Nah, more hardcore. Won't find it here. But there's a guy on Jig Jig Street has a whole lot of peculiar flicks. And I mean peculiar. Just a bit more careful. But I was. And I gotta work out, you know. Look if it's something raw. Untouched. If anyone wanted to Raw's see a jelly roll, get with me. Sit at home What's your edge? Want something that'll floor me. Really so scramble the neurons. Stop you got it all, man. Bare knuckle boxing, shootouts, black we're ops, we're interrogations, amputations. No, 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 no. I mean something like. Well, you know, fetishes. No, come on, you know what I mean? No, I don't. Think I'd be doing this job if I could read minds? I want to know what it's like to, to kill somebody. See, wasn't so hard. So, got some classics from the last Corp War. Or armed robbery if you're looking for something fresher. What are you looking for? Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs while you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. The ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. Got anything that might interest me? Pleasure doing biz with you. Hop in. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. The old one, too. Ready when you are. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch them. <laughs> It's good to go. Dig around all you want. Christ, it's hot. Thermal readings are off the charts. Keep looking.
radio's turned way up. Probably to drown out the screaming. Heard shit like that before. Sounds like scavs to me. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Roger's logo. Standard for a trash heap. Can't beat that rich synth got aroma. <laughs> Cheap shit. Cold, too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Electric Corp patch on the coveralls. Coveralls had a patch on them. Electric Corp. Hmm, could be a costume. A prop? Factory worker fetish? Hard as hell to believe. Hmm. It'd explain the higher thermal readings, too. You could be onto something. Scav woman. <laughs> Who knew that sides chopping people up they were scrolling XBDs? Ordered recently. Coffee was cold, like from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something someone does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna slap across town for it. Okay, we're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. BC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Buck a slice checks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old Electric Core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with this for now. Nothing else to garner from this scroll. No time to lose. We gotta go there. Definitely. Ride with me? Let's get going. On our way. Still can't shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the Death's Head Moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then... Stop it. They'd have to be utter gonks to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. And here we are. We going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Back up here. Let's find her. Hang in there, Rev. That's Evelyn. Just don't touch her. If she's recording, you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. I see her. Cable 2. Grab it and tell me when you're gonna yank it. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right, let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And... Thank God. Ev? Evelyn, you hear me? Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. 
Which way? I sealed the doors, and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me? Fine, have it your way. Smoke to your lungs content. Ah, oh, finally. Something better than exhaust in the stench of the city. Don't tell me you don't feel it, too. We going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. She's sleeping. Uh, at least I think she is. Her eyes are closed and she's not shaking anymore. I would have already killed her by now if I didn't feel so bad for her. You're mad at her? Why? When you asked me to scour her behavioral chip, I was just about done dealing with your shit. Judy, I didn't have any I know. Other... It's okay. So I don't get why... You'll find out in a sec. I'll show you the virtue I found. Okay. Show me. Give me a sec while I set the parameters. Guess we'll find out if our doll really did lose her tune. Come on, V. I'll be the first to admit, this does not look good. Hey. How you feeling? You need anything? I'm not here to nag. Just talk. Listen, Evelyn. I really need your help. It's important. If I don't do anything... And do it soon. I'll die. Well now, look at you. Have a seat. Roll it. Data was in pretty rough shape. Not all that editable. Huh. Glad you managed to salvage them in the first place. Needs a second to load. Quality's lousy. But I did what I could. What am I looking out for? Every single piece of tech I see? Security? We need a layout of the whole room. We will get everything else we need from the Virtue. What about his messages? Only if you can do it and be... Parfait, Bori. It's most important that he suspect nothing. Try to be your usual... relaxed self. And if he starts talking about the biochip himself? Uh, should I... Biochip? Where you hear this? That is not of interest to you. You spin the virtue, you come back here. We give you the eddies. That is your one job. The rest is none of your concern. Understand? Try to be your job. Relax. And if you start talking, just might not be important. Maybe. But all of them are from Pacifica. Now's down our search, at least. 
Can't see your face. <sighs> Under normal circumstances, that kind of encryption's easy to crack. But not this time. Whoever she is, she's got serious net running skills. That or someone Fresh working out for her. Hmm. I think I recognize these. What are they? Vive markings. You familiar with them? Not enough to know what they actually mean. Heard of who might use them, though. Who? Could be the Voodoo Boys, but that's just a hunch. Can't be 100% sure. The spine chin and Netrunner crew? Hard to find, because they don't want to be. I wouldn't know where to start. What now? Looks like I'm going on a field trip to Pacifica. All right, I think we got everything. What do you think? Looks like Evelyn never told us the whole truth. You're telling me? If I'd known what she'd gotten herself into? Ugh, I'm so mad at her. Her only job was to record a virtue. It's pretty damn amazing she managed to organize a full-blown heist. And swipe the biochip from under her boss's noses. So that's where you came in. She hired you. And brought this all on herself. On you two. There's one more recording. Wanna see it? Sure, why not? Nothing can surprise me at this point. Oui, we are Vous avez une raison, moi, c'est tout intelligent pour ça. Protéger bien. What language is she speaking? I don't know. Haitian Creole? It is the Voodoo Boys. Didn't I... Wait, let me see if I've got an auto-translator. Meantime, you try to tune in to the phone's frequency. See what the other side's saying. Got it. Give it a second. We have to know what they're saying. It could be important. Fine. Just found the auto-translate package. Should get along fine with your system. I'll install it now. Moi, t'as mis quoi même j'avais au qui s'il veut la mener nous direct sous alt. Vous gagnez plus bon l'idée? Très bien. Si vous décidez si c'est bon que tu qu'est ça me pense, à continuer faire travail vous. Okay, Judy, we're good. All right, disconnecting. I don't get it. What's this have to do with Johnny Silverhand? He died, like, forever ago. V, you got any idea? A biochip we stole. It's, uh... It's got Silverhand's engram burned onto it. Engram? Digitized psyche. Personality construct. Can you give me a minute? I need to go over some stuff in my head. Uh, um, of course. These people, what could they want from Alt? How the hell should I know? Got no notion whatsoever? One way or another, everything leads back to that Netrunner. Finding her's our biggest priority. If she knows as much as I think she knows about the chip, she can help us out. 
Thought you said nothing could help us. Nah, just find us that Juju Wirehead, okay? Wait, you got any idea how to get in touch with the Voodoo Boys? I'll ask around, make a few calls. Let me put it this way. The Voodoo Boys wouldn't trust a cat if it walked onto their turf. But someone's gotta know a way in. Well, good luck. I hope you won't need it. Thanks, Judy. No, V. Thank you. You're a... You're a good person. Evelyn could never see what was under people's skin. She could have gotten to know you a bit better than... Who knows? Things might have turned out differently. No. This trouble? The net around me? You wrote it. You know it. I lost everything. Let me be you. plain. Again. Solve your own problems. Clean up you your own shit. Will? Go fuck yourself. Be careful who you bargain with. Rogue, wanted to talk. It's okay. Hmm. Not here, not there. Who are you? Name's V. And what is it you want, V? All these years, it's really her. Fucking Rogue, just kicking it back on a couch at the afterlife. Don't mess with her, she's got MRIs. See right through you. Give her the truth. Need your services. Gotta track a guy down. Mm-hmm. Anders Hellman. Hotshot engineer. Worked for Arasaka. Millisec. Anders Hellman. Pinpoint him for me? Huh. <laughs> Thanks. Jump in too soon. First, my help's got a price. Second and third, Dexter Deshawn. Jackie Wells, t -Bot. Multiple bells ringing, V. Left a lot of bodies behind. Death walks in your wake. Chalk that up to bad luck? There's the bitch I know. Ask her about Sokka Tower. How they shot me up right in front of her. They knew the risks. All sorts of shit happens. To all sorts of people. Even to the best. To you too, Rogue. Arasaka Tower, remember? Who'd you lose back then? Johnny something... Ah. You came prepped. Of course. Anyways, feelings be damned, I've always said. This is pure biz. You need my help, so get those eddies ready. Mm-hmm, see? Should be enough. Mm-hmm. Come back tomorrow. We'll talk. Hey, interested in some work? Here to see Rogue. Expecting me. Hey, Rogue. I'm back. What about Hellman? Two, please. Make some room. Sit down. Hope you found him. Don't see that often. Determination like yours. Must really need this guy. Matter of life and death. <laughs> Haven't heard that for a while either. Bottle stays. Go ahead. Enjoy. To your health. To yours, kid. Gonna need it. Thanks, Nix. Queen of the afterlife. Who would have thunk? Got a shard for you. Intel. Interesting stuff. Let's see what you got. Your helmet's not on any payroll, not officially anyway. But he does pop up in GNT's confidential stacks. It's a Kang Tao subsidiary, Chinese Corp. 
Hang Tao's been using them as a fig leaf for years. They're masked for more sensitive operations. All that clear? Must be prepping them for a transfer. How would you know? Chinese corpo playbook's an open one to me. This looks like the old vanishing pigeon. Decrypted map of upcoming Kang Tao convoy routes. Think Hellman might be in one of them? Thing is, which one? Take a look at the specs on this one. A lone AV, no ground support, no linked cargo manifests either. Weird. Sure, Kang Tao sometimes transports stuff unregistered if they want to push it under the table, but catch the load on this AV. Already approved in the system, but too low. So definitely no cargo on board. But there's a passenger list. Kang Tao security detail plus one VIP. Transfer from Chan Team. Our boy Hellman. That was the good news. There it is. So what's the bad news? Bad news is the extraction site. Look, Night City airspace. All this. Mm-hmm. No way to jack the transport without the NCPD picking up on it. And here, we're too close to Kang Tao. We even give that AV a dirty look, their backup hustle will be on us. But, right here's Jackson Plains. Narrow corridor, just outside the city, and just out of Kang Tao's reach. Guess it's your lucky day. A dead zone. I'll grab him there. Gonna need a native to the area. Someone who'll set up the op, cobble together the gear. Even tracking that AV will be a bitch. Familiar with the type. Saw legacy models flying around during the war. They're mammoth, but they're quick. Plus, they pack next gen defenses. Can't take pot shots at it. Not even with serious firepower. Just won't work. It's not about firepower. There are ways, and people who know them, or who can at least improvise on a theme. So, a native. Know any hick mercs? Just one. Pan Am Palmer. She can't count on her clan anymore, but she's a true nomad. She knows those lands. And she will help you. Won't have a choice. Won't have a choice? Does not sound enticing. Not for her, not for me. Enticing comes at a price you can't possibly afford. Can't possibly afford to blow this chance at Navin Hellman. Your operation, your call. Got a bad feeling, V. Strange. I thought nomads gave the city, and city folk, a wide berth. Varies by clan, by the connections they have, the depth of shit they're in. But you're right. Alda Caldos are rarely willing to do biz with the city. Pan Am's got a different take? Yep, on everything, it seems. Why's Pan Am gotta help me? I sense a catch. Pretty big one. Occasionally, Pan Am moves merch for me. Last job? Well, wasn't a good day for her. She run into a hitch? Complete bust, actually. Lost the goods and her ride. Pan Am will do anything to get the load back. Means her dignity. I know her. Okay. Guess I can try to help her. But if we don't know where to look, I mean... We do. I do. Fine. Let me hear what you know. Rocky Ridge, ghost town just outside Night City. Pan Am knows where. You'll go there, get the merch back. Wheels too. Naturally, you'll call her first. Sending you her deeds. Oh, finally. All clear. Thanks. Get out of here. Good luck. Jam, hang on just a little longer, too. Ripper's on the way. Again. Hello? This Pan Am? V here. V who? V where? How did you even get this number? From someone at the afterlife. Mm-hmm. So what is it you want? Actually... Wanted to talk about what you want. Is that so? The merch you lost, and your ride. You want him back? Let's talk. Hmm. 
That's so. Ah, rogue and confidentiality. I might have known. The rail freight yard on Benita Street. The one hugging the city line. We'll meet there. See ya. Hey. Pan Am? So you're a V. Where's my car? <laughs> Agree to help me. You'll find out. Oh, fuck no. You will not jerk me around. Tell me where my car is. Hey, come on. Calm down. Don't tell me what to do. Fine. Know where to find the cargo and your car. You go alone, you won't get him back. And you could lose something else besides. So let's figure something out. What do you want? Need to hit a Kang Tao transport. Won't be easy. Wanna know I can count on you. Are you out of your goddamn mind? About you or the job. Kang Tao's AV route will take it over Jackson Plains. Heard that should help us. Yeah, I doubt it. Gonna be a guy on board. Need to talk to him. Fuck. In return, info on your cargo. Help in getting back what's yours. We got a deal? I don't know. I... Shit! All right, deal. But if you want your thing done, we'll need to get my Thornton back first. So where is it? Cars in Rocky Ridge. You're supposed to know where that is. Cars there, goods are there. Nash, you dirty eating bastard. I will strangle you. Nash, you chew me yours? He hang you out to dry? Do not call him that. <laughs> Fine. Partner. Former. If ever. The shift tricked me. He straight nipped my truck and the merch. Probably now aims to sell it off in Rocky Ridge. Is he ever going to be fucking disappointed? Rocky Ridge. Let's go. Uh, hang on. I, I, I should think this through. Fuck. Yes. We'll need backup. We have one brief stop to make on the way. Want to tell me where? Give me a sec. I should call the client. Convince them to leave the bastard hanging. Going ahead with the deal behind Rogue's back. Brave, I guess. Or fucking dumber than a drum. Buzz! Hey! Now she's gonna pass you the merch in Rocky Ridge. The thing is... The motherfucker screwed me over. Buzz, I will take care of it. I just need you to give me a chance. Buzz, come on. How many times have I moved things for you? And how many times have I failed? You have my word. After dark? Okay. No, don't call off the meat. Just don't show up. I'll take care of everything. Do you even have to ask? Of course I will. Thanks, Boz. You won't regret this. Okay. I have bought us some time. Give that meathead your word and he took it? Is that surprising? It's called having a reputation. You should try getting one of your own. So... where to now? The Aldecaldo camp. I need to see some of the old clan. Don't seem too excited. That's not your concern. I still have friends there. Good, let's roll. Get in. Nice ride. Lots of space. Practical. Say no more. Please. How far is the camp? Just past the city line. We'll jump on the Nine and head east. How the hell did you land in this mess? I liked the color. The air freshener and booster seat came extra. You know I don't mean the car. What am I supposed to tell you? That I'm not about to let my partner rob me and get away with it? 
That my fixer made me look like a goddamned fool? What about you? Why do you need that clown from the AV? This particular clown's got intel I need. And I'm running out of time to get it. So why didn't she tell me she knew about Nash? Rogue? Do better not to wonder what her agenda might be. God damn, I can't stand the bitch! Rogue's queen of the afterlife. Plays her pawns as she pleases. Did you just call me a pawn? I got a good look at her. She rose to the top because she reads people. So what if she keeps things to herself? It's a skill in her profession. Well, I think she's a lying, manipulative bitch. She put me together with that raffin. Did you know that? Wait, Nash's raffin? Yes. He runs with the Wraiths, the largest raffin group in the area. You know about them, right? Mm hmm. Nomads tossed out of clans. Yes, mostly. Nomads don't banish their own without a reason. So think murderers, rapists, freaks. They gather in teams. Sometimes form actual gangs. Most of them are wanted and have warrants on their heads. Shit. And that bitch had me working with scum like that. I not have known that side of him. So make me laugh. A fixer of her standing knows. And Rogue probably knows we're talking about her right now. Nash and I had a role to play in her game. Her plan. That's it. Rogue's a frigid old bitch. That's the truth. You look what the cat dragged in. Is that a ghost or is it just my hangover? Fuck you too. Mm-hmm. And who's this? My babysitter. V, this is Scorpion. Mitch. Two old friends. Hey, guys. Hello. What brings you to these parts, city girl? The big city got too small for her. Do you have any idea how angry the old man's gonna be when he sees you here? I've just come by for a spell. Saul needn't know a thing. Need your help. With what? What's this about? Raffin screwed Pan Am. Plan is to show him that was a bad idea. How bad did they get you? Bad enough to make me sit quietly through all your bullshit. You know, we would do anything for you, sister. But now? Now's hard. Seriously? You won't help? Uh, well, the old man told us to... Sit tight and get those generators back up after the batteries went kaput. Generators? You won't help because of some goddamn generators? Is this another joke? We'll manage without them. Shut it. Don't be a dick, Mitch. Help me. Not this time. We're needed here. Fuck. I don't believe this. So you'll stay put because Saul told you to. You couldn't care less about me. Pan Am. This isn't about Saul. It's about the clan. You know that. Listen, we can't leave camp. No chance. But... But Saul never said a thing about gear. Okay. Well, I'll need that rifle of yours. And some of my own stuff. Take whatever you want. And take care of yourself out there. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I'll grab the gear, then be out of your hair. Looks like you're stuck with me. Mm-hmm. You disappointed? I don't know. Maybe a little, yes. Hey, Pan Am. Are you staying a while? No, I'll be going again soon. We'll talk next time. Hey, Pan Am. Have you brought someone new? Does Saul know? Not your concern, friend.
Will you help me with this? What's inside? A few odds and ends that should be useful. Take it. All right, that's everything. Let's go. Did you figure out your differences with Saul? Will you come back? Panam, you'll stop by later, right, honey? Next time, Ellie. I promise. So, I'm off. Yeah, yeah, go on, go already. Call us sometime. Keep an eye on her, V. Put it in the trunk. We can go. Hop in. Mitch and Scorpion seem good souls. The best friends a girl could ask for. I'd stay in the camp too if I were in their shoes. Fuck Saul and his generators, of course. Yet the clan comes first. But I'm not part of it anymore. Still treated you like you're one of them. They care about you. Mm-hmm. Do you have anyone you would call close? Not right now, no. Could just be a matter of time, though. <laughs> okay. Were those two in the army? Scorp and Mitch? Yeah. Panzer boys. They were on contract during the last war. Panzer boys? Flew those huge transporters? Scorpion piloted. Mitch ran security. They both got some kick-ass combat implants and a stack of really fucked up nightmares. Seems you got a real problem with authority. What? Rogue, Saul. He your leader? Their leader. Seemed in a hurry to delta the hell out of there. Let's just say Saul wouldn't have been happy to see me. What happened? The reason we came to California was because he promised change for the Alda Caldos. He claimed we would turn over a new leaf. But you saw it. We got a handful of tents on a heap of sand. A hell of a promised land. I wanted something different. Better. Saul's a damned coward. He'll be the end of the clan, I'm certain. So Rocky Ridge. Empty, dusty hole in the middle of bumfuck nowhere, I heard. Natives either moved to Night City or just got the hell out. Then you know almost all there is to know. The whole area was waiting on a new interstate extension. It was supposed to breathe new life into the town. It didn't happen, of course. How many ghost towns do you think are there? Hundreds? Countrywide? Thousands. I drove down I-80 the other day. All you have to do is pull over after sundown. It's quiet then. And you hear it. What's that? The wind whistling through boarded up windows. Tumbleweeds scratching across dry, sandy tracks. That's how towns die. Not with a bang, but with whispers and whimpers. Okay, we have arrived. What do we do? We get ready to greet the Raffins, and we have little time for that. We'll need to improvise. We should scout first, to look for anything that might be useful. Have you found anything? No dice. Nothing's up. All cut off. Well, we'll make it work. The Raffins will roll in after dusk. We will have a surprise ready for them. We just need to get some power flowing. Let's check the substation. Okay. Found the breakers, but there's no juice on them. Not to worry. Come down. I know how to surprise the bastards.
Right. So, the intersection is powered from that transformer substation, right? The switch gear on the roof. We'll flip the switch there and everything will light up like Christmas. Understood? So classic route. Good old diversion. You know it. First, we don't know how many are coming. My thinking is it'll be a sizable crew. Second, we have to create an opening to get to my car. If they're bunched together, we won't stand a chance. So we give them a little light show at the intersection? Yes. We'll breathe some life into this dusty old town. As soon as they see the lights, they'll have to check who, why, and how. Nova. Yep. First we start up the control terminal below. The gear on the roof is a hunk of junk without it. Come on, we'll give it a boost from the car battery. That should do the trick. Wait for me by the substation. I'll bring the car around. The panel looks to be in good shape. I'll make a bypass circuit to the power supply. That should do it. We'll just have to get it up and running. Grab the jumper cables from the trunk. We'll boost it from the car battery. Red cable connected. Give me a moment. I need to hook everything up here. And done. Now the Black Rattler. There she goes. Thought the old jalopy served us well. Okay, I've got voltage. Start the terminal inside. And once the power is on in the building, get on that roof. You got it. I'll set up on the tower. We'll have the whole intersection on a platter. You flip the breakers when I give you the signal to do so, understood? Yes, ma'am. Now we wait. Remember, as soon as we see them, you give us power. Got it. Cover me, just in case. Of course. They're rolling in. And my thorn. You see her? Really, really hard to miss. Let's take them by surprise. Let's try to do this quietly. If anything happens, I'll start picking them off. Sound good? Sounds great. Where's the son of a bitch, Buzz? You, wait for him here. Get good and ready. The show starts... now! Let there be light. Call off a bunch. Good work. What now? A few ships still breathe. Better off not leaving anyone to tell the story. It's as if you've read my mind. Wait for me in the car. There. Couldn't wait another minute, could you? At last. And? She's prime wheels, isn't she? Dreamy indeed. I'm surprised you wanted her back. She completes me. See? Managed just fine without Mitch and Scorpion. Listen, V. It's not over yet. It's not? You got the cargo. You got your car. I did not get Nash, who was not in Rocky Ridge. The fucker didn't show. Pan Am. Listen, I have a plan. And I don't care. The car and the merch, that's what we were after. We got him. 
Six Street away from Just listen and I... to me, for fuck's sake! I know where their little hidey hole is. We'll take the old unfinished freeway nearby. They will not be expecting us. I'm sure of it. <sighs> All right. So where's this hideout? A hop and skip away. Thanks, V. What Nash did. I placed my trust in him. He was the first person I worked with after leaving the Alda Caldos. After I came to Night City. And I granted him my trust. I get it. I know how you feel. I had someone betray me just like that once. And did you make them pay? Never got the chance. Someone else got to him first. But if they had it, would you have done it? No doubt. Without skipping a beat. Let's get this over with. Are you ready? Let's get him. remains active for up to several minutes after decapitation. Hello, Rogue. Pan Am. What did you say again? Solve your own problems? Clean up your shit? Nash is dead. One shit cleaned. Happy? And the Sixth Street merch? Nash can't deliver it anymore. But if you ask nicely, I might be able to help you. Help me? I take my cut up front, honey. But I guess I'm touched. Was actually wondering if you wouldn't forget about Biz while you were up chasing down a vendetta. Fuck! So, feel any better? 
Maybe a little. Let's get out of here. One bitter cold bitch that broke. Think she might have lost the plot. Mean to say she used to be sweet and alluring? Huh. <laughs> Never that. But she's no stranger to the other end of the stick. Think she might need a nice strong shock. Hey, boss. Got your cargo. No, no fast ones. Come on, let's meet. Sunset Motel. I know you're not kidding. I'm certain to be there. Okay, I arranged our meeting. Let's do the deal and start working on Hellman. Agreed? Should be fun. They're here. Let me do the talking. Sensing trouble? No. At least I don't think so. Hey, boss. Panna! How's Nash? Didn't seem to be answering his phone. Don't call him anymore. There's no need. <laughs> you got balls, girl. What's this? A bonus of some sort? We work together. Hmm. Change tunes like you change clothes, girl. There. First class merch. Mm hmm. So, everything's in order? Check your account. Should be pretty plush in a couple minutes. It's been a pleasure. But I believe Rogue's the one who is to pay me. You're all right. Think you earned a tip. Let's roll. That went well. Come on. Let's get a drink. Raffin's wiped, Six Street's pleased. Pretty good day for Pan Am Palmer. The day's not over yet. You still have a chance to piss me off. Hello, Noah. Hey. New biz or new friends back there? Take a wild guess. Is everything good with you? Did those bozos come around again? Raffins? Nah, it's been quiet. They'll be back, sure enough. But this place has seen worse. What can I get you? Brosif. Two of them. So that package for Street. What was it? You didn't peek? Valoperidol. Drugs for the cyber psychos in our midst. They trade in them? Yes. They have deals. With black clinics, rippers... Well, here's to that thorn of yours. Thanks for everything, partner. Another one over here. Thanks, Noah. Cheers. Let me know if you need anything else. Time we look to my needs. What's the plan for Hellman? I've come up with a plan. A first draft. But I need to sleep on it. Work it out. Then we can talk about the details. I think it best to rent rooms here. Just to stay in the area. We'll get to work around midnight. It'll help keep us out of sight. Agreed? Maybe we rent just one room. Good idea. Noah has two twin beds in every room. We'll save some money. Okay, I won't insist. Separate beds. Got it.
No one will need a room. Twin beds. Just for tonight. I'll go catch a few winks. Ugh. I'm starting to feel that stress go away. I'll probably be out as soon as I hit the sack. You had better get some rest, too. This is only the beginning. That's the plan. Good night. Mm-hmm. Gonna puke? Can I help? No, you can't. I'll be done soon. The Raffins left are crooked as a bag of snakes. Did you sleep all right? Can't complain. And you? Reasonably rested? I think you had nightmares. You screamed a few times. Really? Don't worry. I'm accustomed to that sort of thing. When Mitch and Scorpion came back from the war, they tossed and turned night after night. For months this went on. Whatever it is, it'll pass. Yeah, let's hope so. Come up with anything? For Hellman, I mean. As a matter of fact, I did. Look here. Okay, tell me. We're the wrench. The cutter is the AV. And the screwdriver is where the AV should bury its nose cone in the dust. Now, you must be wondering how we get the AV to do that. That old HMG of yours. My gun will be useful elsewhere. This caliber would barely dent the armor of a heavy hitter like that. There are other ways. Here. The clamps are solution. A Satwave power station. Power station? Wait. You want to use an EMP? Bullseye. But how? We can't generate that sort of pulse on command. Would you like to bet me? We drive up to the power collection unit, break in and override the controls, lift any limiters. As soon as the AV is in range, we set off the electromagnetic turbo pulse. This should smoke the AV system. So the drive. Nav systems. Communications. Everything. Out like a light. They won't stand a chance in hell. Aren't you, uh, counting chickens? We can't actually know the AV will fly over the station. Of course we can, but we don't have to. You'll see. It's bound to be quite a ride, but not one you'll regret. I've got everything planned out. All right. Let's ride. Great. Hop in. It's cold out here. Who owns this power station? Gov or Corp? Is there any difference? Who do you think pulls the government's strings? Hey, I'm just wondering whose toes we're about to step all over. V, look around. It is simple. Everything you see is owned by a corporation. And now for something completely different. Weirdest thing you've ever transported. Go. What? Are we playing 20 questions? Come on, answer. The deputy finance director of Kaukaz. That's chauffeuring, not smuggling. He rode in the trunk. Flatlined. Really? Dead? A long story. Maybe someday I'll tell you. You like to mess with the corpse, huh? Whatever gave you that idea. Well, wait. Scratch that. Rogue, Nash, the Raffins. You're on thin ice, B. You just like to mess with everyone. Well, then I suppose it's a good thing I'm on your side, isn't it? Mm-hmm. We 
We've almost reached the dam. We'll make a quick stop here. We need to calibrate you with a turret. I want you to be able to use the gun, too. It should up our chances in general. Connect here. How should I connect? Personal link? How else? Just watch the jack. Sometimes you have to jig a little bit. Wired in. Wait a moment. Diagnostics first. Shit, it keeps giving me an error. Odd. Let me work around it. And now, Pan Am, here's Johnny. Out in the middle of bumfuck nowhere. Great work, V. Hey, uh, I think your implant has a virus. The one in the nape of your neck. Uh, I've got a bioprocessor in my head that operates independently of me. Probably why your diagnostics flagged it. Mm-hmm. Okay. But no data will leak out of it through the personal link. Your ride's secure. Fine. I trust you won't fuck anything up. Okay. Here goes nothing. See that pile of junk? Fire a short burst into it. I'll take care of the calibration. Good. Next target. Single shot. Okay. Just one more. Longer round. Great. We're done, I think. Now that wasn't so bad, was it? Uh-huh. Just wondering how it'll work with moving targets. The gun is calibrated. You'll have system support. Just be careful with the recoil. It sometimes knocks things out of balance. So where's this power station? You will see in a moment. I know a spot. We'll have a decent view from there. I just want to be sure the area is clear. Sabotage a corpo power station. Jump a corpo transport. Kidnap a corpo suit. Is this a plug for the word corpo, or do you have a point? Know what? You're starting to remind me of me. Fifty years back. Minus the charisma. An impressive cock. Hmm. Maybe we can just get along. Could be something to that, I suppose. What happened to us, it must have had some effect. You're more like me than you think. You'll see. But it goes both ways. Maybe you're becoming more like me. Nah, no way. All looks clear. The area looks deserted. I see no patrols. The huge thing is the collection unit. And see the antennas? Each antenna collects microwave energy from satellites in orbit. That's then converted into electric power. Antennas run a ways down the interstate. We set off a chain reaction that starts in the collection unit. Then each antenna will emit a massive EMP burst. While our AV flies right into our net. We just have to send out the pulse at the right moment. Let's go get her. When we arrive at the station, you overload the systems. I'll set up a bypass link for the detonator. Why don't I start with the transformers? Make mayhem in the relative voltages. Rest should move faster after that. Not a bad idea. That's just... Yeah, yeah, I know, the converters. But they shouldn't be a problem. I'll just crank everything up past max. Seems we think alike. So what now? We wait. We should time our arrival to the AV flight plan. Got it. Good. Time to roll. Done anything like this before? Downing an AV? By myself? No. Why do you ask? Seems Rogue was right. V... What? She said you were good and she was right. Yes. I suppose she was. But we have yet to take the AV, so you might wait before you fasten a halo on her. Know what? I think I figured you out. Oh, you have? Have you? Either pull off this mission, or prove Rogue wrong. Choose one. Fuck off. I will get both done. Okay, we'll be there in a moment. One last time. We drive in. Fuck up the system, and get the hell out of there. 
Hold on tight. This could get a little bumpy. Get ready. Okay. I'm ready. Mm -hmm. Provided we hurry. At 11, you got to live. Yeah. Let's get out of here before it lights us up, too. V, get the fuck out before something happens to the chance of the tip. You know, I was just about to set up a picnic. Maybe lay out. Work on I my mean, base, Dan. Watch out. The next one might. Johnny? Johnny? Fucking hell. Okay. I'm fine. It's... It's okay, just... It's okay, I'm fine. Yeah. Just... Delta the fuck out. Not the cleanest job, perhaps, but it still went well. What about the detonator? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And I don't even see a drop in the signal strength. We just need to drive far away enough to keep the pulse from blasting us, too. The cliff there. We'll set up. It should give us a good view of the antennas. And then we wait. Okay. Here. Always wanted to push the big red button on something like this. How do we know when? Don't worry. I'll have eyes on it. You just wait for my signal, then set off that pulse. They won't know what hit them. And by the way... What? We are about to knock a multi-million euro dollar Kang Tao asset clean out of the sky. How does that make you feel? Blast and shit. Exactly what the doc ordered. And that's exactly what I like to hear. Just noticed. What? It's quiet. The hum of the city, people's voices, the smells, it's all gone. Wind just intensifies it. Think I forgot quiet exists. Mm-hmm. Though maybe not the smells. I mean, the coyotes. Rather hard to miss. Thought that was just the air freshener in your Thornton. Ha ha. Screw you. You'd do better to focus on the AV. Keep your eyes open. It's there, coming from Pacifica. All right, get ready. One more second. One more. Now! Boom. There she is. Shit! What's happening? God damn it all. God damn it all. Bullseye! Pan Am, the engines are still running. Fuck, they're getting away. They're going nowhere. We gotta go after it. Give me a moment. NM, what are you doing? That's how you do it. It's losing altitude. We got the bastard. Let's go. We got it. No way it stays in the air after a blast like that. We either land or crash. You catch that? Over. AV, unmarked. Losing out. Fish! There? Scorpion! 
What the hell are Finishing they doing? up at the generators. Follow them. On my way in a bit. Battery Mitch, should sort Scorpion, itself out. It's Pan Am. Don't go near that AV. I repeat, do not approach the AV. Mm -hmm. On the way, or I'll start the party without you. It's Kang Tao. Wait for me, or better get the hell out. They probably want to help the survivors without knowing it's corporate. They can't hear me. The pulse is interfering. Shit. I have three on radar. Drones? Yes. Get ready. They're trying to slow us down. We won't let them. We have to reach Scorpion. over an open channel, just in case they missed you the first time. God, I swear. Something's not right. Did you hear those shots? V, something happened to them. Let's check it out. I see the wreck, but no Scorpion or Mitch. Looks expired. Fuck it. V, connect to the drone. We'll scan the area. We have to get our bearings. Let's roll. You connecting to visual? Mm-hmm. V, if they got the Alta Caldas, if they got Mitch and Scorpion, I can't... I don't... No, I know. Connected. I'm in control. Oh, no. No, no. I'm... I'm sorry. Your clan? Alta Caldos. Yes. They're dead. All of them. V, if they... Don't worry. We don't know for sure. Fucking corporate rats! They've set up the launcher. They'll tear us to shreds if we get too close. Can we take it down somehow? Maybe. But we have to get there first. Got five Kangs on patrol. Combat drones. Defense systems active. They secured the area. They're waiting for reinforcements. 
Shit. V, this does not look good. If not for those damned glitches, I could have warned them! This is all my doing! Why in the hell were they following the AV? The fools! Listen, we saw Mitch. They probably got Scorpion too. We'll find them. Help them out. If they're still alive. They're alive. Everything's gonna be okay. Mind that launcher. It will blow us to bits if we approach. Okay, here's the plan. You stay in the car, No, I... not so fast. I will go with you. Those are my people. Pan Am. Hate to break it to you, but you're hurt. Wait in the car. I'll try and take out the launcher. I... Fine. But I have Mitch's rifle. And we'll try to cover you from here. Good idea. Let's move. Path clear. I'm coming for you. Now! Step back! Back! Toss your weapons, or I'll shoot! I repeat, drop your weapons, now! Easy now. Not too late for everyone to walk out of this alive. We called for backup! Bullshit! Last chance. You don't gotta die today. Let's talk. Why should I believe you? Pan Am, shoot Shut him. Up. Listen, this isn't about you. Let him go, and tell me where I, your passenger is. I, I don't know where they took him. Hell no! He's lying! <laughs> You don't know, or you don't want to say. Let me get the comms back up. I'll buzz the unit. We'll talk. Pan Am! But only if you remember the Shut cowboy, the don't up. you? Fuck! Pan Am! God damn it. Oh, shit. Are you alright? Uh, just some scratches. You fucking morons! Did you get hit? Hang on, girl. I'll patch it's you up. It's nothing. Let's go. We couldn't retreat, Pan Am. They regrouped so fast. Started shooting rockets and shit. I lost everyone. Everyone? Scorpion, is he here? Mitch? Mitch? He's... He's safe, right? Pan Am, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in time. No! No! Are you sure? No, he... Scorpion, the rest. I'm sorry we didn't get here sooner. They were good people. Great people. They didn't have to die here. I should have stopped him. I tried. He wouldn't have listened to you either. Never was much of a listener. Stubborn bastard. I'm guessing since you were out here, you were out here for the AV. The question is why? I need the guy who's riding this AV. You know anything. See anything. Took him with him. In our cars. Where? West. Small unit. Your passenger's entourage. Must be looking for a way to call base. So you're the ones who hit him with that EMP? Yeah, we tried to warn you, but... Couldn't connect. If they took your cars, we might be able to follow their tracks. Pan Am, listen. I know it's not the best time, but I need Hellman. You promised to help. That still hold? I always keep my word. Mitch, I will find those sons of bitches. I swear. Go. I'll call the crew. Get all this cleaned up. We'll leave my ride here just in case. Just watch the gun. It likes to jam. We'll go by bike. Sounds good. Kang Tao lost contact with their AV. Probably looking for it. Better hurry. But Pan Am. What? You're coming back for her, right? I promise. Let's get going, before they send a rescue party. Scorpion and the rest. Look, I know how you feel. I mean it. I'll help you settle your score with Kang Tao. I will destroy them, V. Every last one. We're in this together. To the bitter end. You know what, V? You're all right. You help me with Nash, you help me with Mitch. To my mind, I owe you a favor. 
your Hellman. I will find him. Ah, so that's what this is? Just paying your debts? No. Nomads always help their own. <laughs> oh, so I'm one of yours now. Sounds good. Let's ride. Hope they didn't go far. We'll see. The tire tracks start there. Our guys were here. Let's follow. Find them. Scorpion said I would hate what he'd say. He knew you that well. Probably better than I know myself. He said when I had enough of the city, we would stock up my canned kibble, fill a couple of thermoses with coffee and whiskey, and hit the road. He said we would get away from it all. Sounds like a real adventure. Yeah. But he's gone. Shit. Why is everything shit, shit, shit? Hey, I know. Look. You're alive. We've got a few things to take care of, too. find anything else here enough there's nobody here better check where Kang Tao took him fast you were right Nomad's car did die they tried to put her back on her feet but the oil pump died pistons couldn't take it give us a few minutes maybe but they still got a head start left a few peeps behind at the airstrip rest went with Hellman They're coming for him, don't worry. You know what? What? This is my life right here. I step out of one pile of shit, only to trip into another bigger one. Pan Am. Pull in everyone else after me. I'm done. You hear me, Pete? I fuck up again. You better give me a good kick in the ass. Well, you didn't fuck any... Promise me. All right, I promise. Definitely set up shop here. I see. They must have Hellman locked up somewhere. Buffy, see that? The pumps look pretty good. Not what you would find if the place were closed. The bastards might have managed to call for transport. We'll know soon enough. Don't shoot. I'm unarmed. What the hell are you doing here? This is my station. Name's Marty. Those fucking suits rode up like they own the place. Took everything. Put me here and locked the door. Don't look too concerned. Ain't my first rodeo. Once the dust falls, the problems disappear one way or another, and I... I just dust myself off and get back to work. Brought a man with him. A man I need. Civilian. You must have spotted him. Mm-hmm. I ain't blind. Where are they holding him? Old garage. Room upstairs. Probably keeping him there. Thanks. I were you, I'd stay put for a few. Exactly my intention. Know where they're keeping Hellman. Going in. Okay. Covering you. Who sent you? Hey, easy. We gotta talk. Who are you working for? Yorinobu Arasaka. Do you wish to take me back home? Pathetic rat's got nowhere left to scurry off to. He's out of lifelines. Shut him up already. Not a fan, I take it. You haven't found a fan in him either. Motherfucker doesn't know who to be scared of more. You or Arasaka. Don't take this personally. 
seem to recall you were going to tell Takamura when you got Hellman. Yeah, just a sec. I'll call him. Just remember, you have Hellman, and that's one hell of a card. Try to win something with it. Takamura saved my life, remember? Because it was in his fucking interest to do so. Still just biz. He's no friend of yours. Takamura, good news. Got Hellman. Alive. What did he say? Alive, alive. Not too talkative now. Taking him to the Sunset Motel. I will come to you. Keep him there until I arrive. You got it. See ya. Better take him somewhere you can talk in peace. True. Looks like your new Chimbas are here. Is that him? Sure is. Take him outside. Toss him on the bike. Stay right there. The cavalry has arrived. Mitch gathered together a few elder cows. <clears throat> the road was clear. I don't think we were spotted. We would still do better not to hang around too long. What do you plan to do with him? Just gotta ask him a few important questions. I sure hope you get some important answers. Saul. Everything's done here. All clear. I heard Mitch is alive thanks to you. Thanks to V and Pan Am. They both saved my ass. I just hope he was worth it. Saul, I tried to raise Scorpion, but he... Maybe I could help out somehow? I think you've helped enough. I tried to stop him. Sure. Just turn around now. Let it all be damned. You're good at that, aren't you? Look, Saul, it really wasn't Pan Am's fault. Careful. You and me are not buddy-buddy. Besides, nobody's blamed anyone for anything yet. Sure. Right. Pan Am was just helping me. It was my doing. My fault that A.V. got hit. Without me, Scorpion and his people wouldn't have gone out to grab it. That's the truth. When you're in Aldo Caldo, you are always responsible for yourself and your people. The circumstances change nothing. Perhaps Pan Am should ask herself if she's still in Aldo Caldo. Damn it all! Hey, don't worry about Saul. He'll get over it. I don't give a damn. But he gives a damn about you, Pan Am. As soon as he heard what had happened, he ordered us to follow you. He was worried something would happen Saul? to you. That was his? Look, maybe you two don't see eye to eye at the moment, but your family and Saul will do anything for family. The thing is, am I even part of the family anymore? You know you are. Come back to us. <laughs> I understand. Sorry you had to witness that. Things just get complicated. Dramatic sometimes. But I will manage. And you. You look out for yourself, all right? So, Mitch. They really treat you like family. Maybe you should give them a chance. It is not that simple. Like any family. They're coming. You have about a minute to get out of there. Let's move! I'm also headed out. Take care of Scorpion's bike. It's yours. Hey. Where am I? What is this place? Motel, middle of nowhere. Any specific middle? Doesn't matter. You're not leaving here by yourself anyway. Why are we here? Want to talk about your little invention. Biochip you made for Arasaka. Fine. But let's get one thing straight first. Yorinobu Arasaka didn't send you? No. This means you must have an offer for me. If your boss will pay more than Kang Tao, I believe we can talk. Nobody sent me. I got a problem, and you're gonna help me. 
And what does that have to do with the biochip? Got Silverhand's construct in my head. It's literally driving me crazy, and I know it's only gonna get worse. That is, unless I remove it. And that, none of that's on the billboards I saw. Not even in the fine Silverhand. Fight. Constructed. That's impossible. Where did you get this biochip? Clept it off Yorinobu Arasaka. Job for a client. But the client left me out And drive. you decided the best place for it was in your own goddamn head. Actually, wasn't a bad idea. Construct rebooted me when my own goddamn head took a bullet. I always knew Yorinobu's plan would fail. I just never imagined it would turn out like this. Arisaka's prized tech really is in the very streets of the city. You have to remove the biochip from my system. It's not that simple. Look, you made the thing, didn't you? So where's the problem? If you're telling the truth, you slotted in a new experimental version of the biochip. I know you can't just yank it out. My Ripper you said- You showed that to some fucking street doctor? Who else knows? I needed help. Or did you think the first thing that came to mind was down in a Kang Tao AV? How's the prototype version different? It's got a different engram, something more Aware. aggressive? The biochip is what's unique, not Silverhand's engram. The previous version of the chip was only used to communicate with pre-saved engrams. And it was rare as fuck and cost a fortune. Yeah. This one's rarer. Meant to install and activate the engram in a new body. When I left Arisaka, the project was still in the trial phase. Huh. Imagine my luck to be so fucking unique, so fucking exceptional. That mean you'll help me? Well, well. I would have to see it first. Okay. Hmm. Unbelievable. It looks like... Can't believe this Seuss the one who's gonna help us. Oh, fuck. Impressive, isn't it? What a pity I won't be able to examine it fully. Yeah, real shame. You could have been his guinea pig, too. Tell me how to get rid of it. I'm afraid I have bad news. Your neural network has completely deteriorated. It can no longer function independently of the chip. The only thing I could Woo do... Woohoo! It's bargaining time! ...is to give you information on a good clinic in Sweden. They'll help you through the terminal stages. Minimize the pain. Wait, you said the project was in the trial phase. You don't actually know how it'll end. Oh, I do. I just saw the construct devouring your brain. It's programmed to take over its new environment. At all costs. And your little meat brain is helpless against it. So no matter what, Sooner or later, the engram wins. Yes. And from what I've heard about Silverhand, that seems to be exactly his style. Huh. I see my reputation's grown into Arasaka legend. What exactly is going on in my head? You tell me. What's it like to have two personalities? Because it's not like you're hearing voices. You are both yourself and Silverhand, simultaneously. I can see him, and talk to him. You're not talking, but yes, I understand what you mean. Have you noticed the Construct's influence on your decision-making? Sheesh, give it a rest. What do you mean? You will start doing things that were once unthinkable, at least to your old self. And you know exactly who he was. A fanatic. A terrorist. A suicide bomber. Well, fuck me. Who's trying to mess with your head now? That is why I believe it would be better for you to consider clinical isolation at this stage. At least Johnny never whored himself out like you. Are you defending him? 
Or is that Johnny speaking now? Oh, let me guess. He already tried to take over your body. You know, just for a little while. No. Would you, though? Could be fun. Johnny, kidding. But watch out. Suit's getting ready to talk your head off. Know what? That's enough. You just playing for time? Because I can't tell. Are you trying to convince me you're useless? So I mean, in that case, I can just shoot you in the head and save us both some time. Ah, oh, finally. I will try to help you. If you come with me to Kang Tao. Forget Kang Tao. Got any other ideas? If you think there's anyone else who can help you, I could give you the blueprints. Complete project documentation. Kang Tao offered quite the sum for it. You got it with you? He's got to. Gonk's fucking useless without him. V. Takamura? What the hell is he doing here? He's got a few questions of his own for you. You play nice, he might even save your ass. I'm almost done. The blueprints. Better than nothing, long as we find someone fluent in techno babble. He's all yours. I'll give you two some space. I hope we can come to an understanding. That is certainly in your best interest. V, I will remember this. Ah, this heat. My throat is positively parched. Mm. V did not give you even a glass of water. See that? Fuck me. Just look at that. Man. That is not me. You will see the difference. I will ah. give you full back. No, uh, no need. Sons of bitches. Where are you heading off? Whatever you gotta say, say it. Got something eating at your code, that's clear. Been trying to learn how you're wired this whole time. To know who I'm dealing with. Thought you were just unlucky at first. But I kept watching, and finally realized what your problem is. Always been a corpo cog. A replaceable part. Once Sokka booted you out, stripped you of perks, Best you could hope for was to be a scav exterminator. You seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past, just like you've seen flashes of mine. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. So listen, will... will I notice a change, or... is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human. Rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. How you find life under my skin? Well... Most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Your goal is to bury Arasaka. Demolish it. Mine's to stay above ground. 
They seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually align pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life. That done, I can burn it to the ground. There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corps have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Might be right. Can't really argue v, with you there. I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? John, Do whatever it takes to stop you got them. It. Defeat them. Gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Johnny. Fucking hell. You still don't see it. But you will one day. It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at anchor in the bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes. And if he believes you, we'll next meet with her. Just hope he doesn't blindly follow Arasaka protocol. What protocol? Unwritten rules. <laughs> Had him here in Night City. Could be different in Japan. If IA got even a whiff of treason, they prep an enhanced interrogator and send two elite squads with air support to grab the suspect. I understand the point you seek to make. But if Oda has ulterior motives, he will need no elites, no air support, no one but himself. Trust me, I have seen him walk. <laughs> That's supposed to be reassuring. If it helps you stay calm, you can gaze at the sky. By car, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this him? Your thief. He's my witness, V. Can't speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Was there. Saw what happened. Yorinobu strangled the old guy. Silence! Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about a silly parade? 
Fool! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath. But you can't night. ignore the truth. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to your inner Sorry, summer. but this is gonna take much longer. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver you ahead to Yorinobu-sama. you are an Arasaka soldier. This is not a request. We remind you of your duty to be truthful to your superiors. I did not come here to be lectured to by a thief. Wasn't always what I am now. And your friend here didn't always look like a bum. Feel free to join us. Plenty of room at the bottom of the heap. Not enticed? Then do your duty. Tell Hanako what nobody else wants to hear. That should be to him. As you say, food of all thought. Just gotta tell it like it is sometimes. It is a shame. Nothing will come of it. How come? It should have been obvious. Oda is a perfectionist. He most fears to make a mistake. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. Well, can't say we didn't try. We tried, yes, and obtained something useful. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They return to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps. If, somehow, we can get to Hanako-sama, we must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just a fixer dame. Wakaku Akada runs a pachinko parlor on Jigjig -Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? JJ Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? I was just asking, does everything with you have to have an ulterior motive? I apologize. That came off wrong. I... am... I am simply not used to such questions. People like me, either we are doing well, or we are in a grave. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinobu and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team. But the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. V, so nice to see you. And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together. That's all. 
竹村五郎です岡田さんお会いできて光栄ですはああ、トゥージェントルメンはあ、シェイモーリー That he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers And you, V, bring him to my door Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away Caution Caution? World's most wanted Japanese fugitives hiding out in Night City And you got nothing to do with it? Please. We know they're thinking. They'll link you to us faster than you can finish puffing on that sig. So tell me, and mark well, I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is, why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex is fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped in a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex, I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, the guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japan Town, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wukako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Goro. You as well. Until next time. P? The information from Okada-san, very valuable. I also learned something through my own efforts. We must meet. Where'll it be this time? Trash processing plant? Deserted end cart station? In the south of Japantown. 
There is a street market. It is on the footbridge above the main street. Use the elevators. It is easy to get lost. I am on my way there. Do not make me wait. I do not understand. Does Arasaka not have enough of its own people? <laughs> He's Look got around. the gift of the gap. Can't be denied. But I need to steal your buddy for a sec. What are you? Goro, good to see you. As it is to see you, V. I acquired some information of my own. Do you know who most wished to honor Arasaka-sama with the parade? His murderer. The irony makes me sick. Yorinobu's a smart little muffin. Putting on the parade to show off his attachment to Arasaka, its values, and to solidify his legitimacy. He is shrewd. I will not deny that. Japanese heritage is one element. Yorinobu will also put on a display of power. The floats are sure to be beautiful, but the wise and I will see in them a hidden message to his foes. What message would that be? I am here, Gumindomo. Watch your backs. Not one for subtlety, is he? Still don't see how this gets us anywhere. I have had an idea. Look to the sky. The dash floats will pass precisely this way. If I could just get onto Hanako-sama's float, I could speak with her in private. Get there how? Why jump? Of course. Expectations way too high, Goro. Couldn't pull that off even if you still had your fancy implants. I have thought of a solution. While you are occupied with your shady dealings, I learned more about the floats. They are all kept in one place, Arasaka Industrial Park. It is there that they prepare them. We need only to break into the compound, find the right float and inject a virus into its system. You will then be able to disable any security before I sneak inside. Gotta be honest, that running's not my forte. It is even less mine. I have an infected shard. It was not cheap, but the man who sold it to me guaranteed it will work. Let us move on. To take control of the float is one thing, but not all. The security concerns me, the snipers especially. I will be an easy target. But I may have an answer. Okada-san mentioned the city cameras. If we gain access to them, we will see exactly where the snipers are. You can deal with them as I advance. Sounds like a plan. You agree just like that? The risks are considerable. Yeah, well, getting more and more used to that. And now, what would you say to a small test? We must try the shot. The camera control room is in front of us. You must get inside and infect the network. That is all. Uh-huh. And in the meantime, you'll do what? Crack open a can of suds? I will not touch alcohol. At work, I will watch your back. Now, get to it. Fucking worked. Done. System's ours. The shard works. Good. The easy work we have done. To break into Arasaka Industrial Park will not be such a bed of roses. But before we discuss that... Sit. I have not eaten since yesterday. 
Give me the best on the menu. I highly recommend the uh, yakitori today. Anything that isn't local, please. See you tomorrow. Can't believe I'm saying this, but this Sokka scum might actually prove useful. He's a well-trained dog, needs orders, that's all. And when he outlives his purpose, we'll flatline him. He's not on his A-game, sure. But even without implants, he could decommission us easily. Where's that come from? Ever seen him in action? No. Just no. From the way he walks. Look in his eye. We'll come back to this later. What is this? Hey, Yakitori. Okay. I have laid the plan. One, we break into Arasaka Industrial Park. One and a half, we hack Hanako-sama's float. Two, during the parade, with my help, you eliminate any snipers. Three, I get onto the float. Four, I convince Hanako-sama of the truth. We got five. Oda zeroes us and pisses on our corpses. You won't ever be less than a foot away from Hanako. Oda would not dare raise his hand against me. What about me? That is a different matter. I would advise you to watch your distance. B? Well, sounds like a suicide run, but done dumber shit than this, so... Things even more stupid than stealing from Arasaka. None dumber yet, no. Set the bar pretty high with that one. Now, we part. Reconnaissance is required. What are you doing? Don't let him off his leash. You're a stranger in a strange land. I'm going with you. Hmm, true. And you with your hands, skills, mind of a thief. Agreed. This we will do together. Cook! Louder! Louder! Yorinobu. In the flesh. He eliminated the last obstacle between himself and the complete power. They surrendered it to him. What do we call the murder of my father? Was that not a provocation? Was that not a... Arasaka. An empire built to last. Before Yorinobu set fire to it from the inside. All of this began with him. The factions. Power struggles. All of this. Ksa. Where's Yorinobu's rebellious streak come from? No one knows this. Perhaps soon I shall ask him in person. Old man's death must have really fed the flames between the different factions. That is exactly what happened. And what's the balance of power look like now? Kiji longs for stability. The old order. They are united behind Hanako-sama. The liberal wing, Hato. Sapoto Michiko-sama. Saburo's granddaughter. I know little about her. And then there is Taka. Treacherous dogs who support Yorinobu. Not to mention even smaller factions. Well, tell me about them some other time. Why'd Saburo tolerate it all? Can't 
get my head around it. Could have kept his son on a short leash. Arasaka-sama was a strong and disciplined man. The strongest man I have ever known. And yet, at a critical moment, he showed a weakness. For Yorinobu? For his daughter. When Yorinobu formed his band of hounds, declared war on his own family, Arasaka-sama could have crushed him with one war. Yet he did not, for he did not wish his daughter to suffer. When Yorinobu returned, his tail between his legs, she persuaded her father to give him a second chance. Do you understand? Hanako-sama saved Yorinobu from the consequences of his deeds. Feels like that's about to change. Long as we get Hanako to believe our version of events. Conscience could also come into play. Assuming she's got one. We must reach her first. Will you join me? Sure, why not? Let us go from here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please come again. So dust and plastic. I would call this a beautiful view of the city, if... If? If there was anything to admire. Hate Night City that much. Hmm, perhaps I am simply homesick, as you say. Now, you must look for vulnerabilities, weaknesses, while I try to think of a diversion. Arasaka cannot discover our intentions. A bit of sabotage is just what we need to divert their attention. You will have the best view on the left. I will try here. This old scope should be good for something. Shall we begin? Let's do this. I think I've seen everything. We have what we came for. So, we going in? Hmm. Is this what you said before entering Kanpeki Plaza? I wish to be certain. We have not overlooked anything. We should wait and observe. If nothing out of the ordinary happens, then yes, we go in then. Sounds sensible. Better get comfy. feline. Thought they'd all disappeared from the city. It is the first animal I see in Night City, except cockroaches, of course. First it was birds, then dogs. Cats actually put up a fight longest. Perhaps it is a back and echo. A back and echo? What's that? It is a cat spirit. It brings misfortune can restore the dead back to life. Believe in ghosts? The relic let you talk to the dead, does it not? I believe we are past belief. My grandmother knew many, many stories about Kitsune, Kappa, Bakeneko too. Where'd you grow up, anyway? I am from the slums of Chiba 11. Once when I was desperate to leave there, I... Ah... <sighs> Bad memories washed away by time. I long only for the simple days of childhood. Am 
My childhood? Let's see. Nights spent looking for a star. Any star. All dimmed by city lights. Silent lullabies sung by the flickering neon signs of Charter Hill. I remember the chemical stench of the canal, where we boys washed our shirts. Corporate transporters sometimes passed through our slum. Arasaka selecting children, but only the clean ones. Let me guess, so they could turn them into Corpo soldiers? Exactly. When they chose me, I felt I had won the lottery. In the army, I was given everything I lacked before. Discipline, regular meals, and when I proved I was gifted, an education. Did what you had to to keep from going hungry. I sense that you judge me, and yet you have no right to. Unlike you and your friend Mr. Wells, I was not arrogant. I did not take the easy path. Wasn't judging you. And true, you oppose the corporations, their order, their world, in a mindless way. Yet you offer no worthy alternative. Take a look around. It's here. Your corporate world in its glorious splendor. You show me filthy streets as if no other world exists. As if nothing else is possible. What of the millions who work for Arasaka and receive stability? Safety? The cheap 11 slum rats? They're there, scraping scraps out of scop tins. Corpse decided that too. We cannot fix everything at once. Forgetting I was at Arasaka, saw how corpse operate. It wasn't roses and rainbows. And you know what? Nobody owns me. I'm free. You should try it. Sometimes I wish to become a nomad. To leave this world. Forget everything. Never too late to change. What is your expression? One cannot teach an old dog new tricks. Do you know what I think? What's that? That day in Kompeki, we both have lost someone important. And we are not at peace with this. So we seek conflict, argue eagerly. Finally starting to make some sense. It is the duty of the living to atone for the dead. Hanako-sama shall aid us in our mission. Or she'll make sure we die for good. The Bakaneko got sick of us, looks like. It will find its own way. As will we. I think it is time to do something, hmm? Oh, fuck, get worse! You do not look so bad. Starts to do with as we please. You can fly to Tokyo if you want. Haha, <laughs> I just may do that. Good work. Now it is my turn. Can you see? Terrible chaos. 
Even the roof is slowly. V, the roof! That is your will! There are buildings around. Smaller ones. Use them to come down. Fucking worked. Excellent work, B. Okay, what now? Now we retreat into the shadows and arm ourselves with patience. I will contact you before the parade. Until then, try not to get into any more trouble. <laughs> As if I wasn't in enough already. V? It's your lucky day. If you're serious about making headway in Pacifica, that is. Works in magic for me? As I said, whatever you're offering, the V-Boys could not, I quote, give a shit. You can be a receipt I trust. Yet a counteroffer was forthcoming, a gig. Successful completion thereof could earn you an audience with Brigitte. Okay, so who do I contact next? Church, Sloan Lane, inside by the altar. They'll know to look for you. Got it. Thanks, Hans. You are V? We have been waiting. You my contact? Someone finally gonna tell me about this job? I'm just a man in the middle. You will learn more. Soon. Wanna talk with Brigitte? She here somewhere? No. Shopping center by the intersection. Go to the butcher shop there. Ask for Placid. He will tell you the details. <laughs> Looking for Placide. Placide. Gardez ici, là. C'est où même? Continuez. Placide, gardez là. Placide. Mm hmm. Here I thought selling domesticated fowl was still illegal. Six years, poultry supposedly had the plague. Now all of a sudden, poof, it's clean? This not for sale. What you want? Told me at the chapel you're the one to talk to? Mr. Han sent me. Said you got murk work needs doing? No here. Come with. Where are we headed? This way. Welcome to Pacifica. Know Pacifica well. Nah, you guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. Was to be its own city where suits would burn their eddies. A close circle. The cops feed the sheep, they spit the cash back out. All the toys here are grown from copper cash. Our interest is now in the GIM. The Grand Imperial Mall. Pacifica's biggest, ugliest temple to greed. But never finished. Until last week, it was deserted. Empty. But now? The animals crawled there, made a nest. This is a simple 
Emily, my papli. You deal with animal before? Yeah, a few times. You want the animals out of the gym? Extinct? That way you hired me? You learn everything soon. I mean, it makes no sense them being here. Middle of Pacifica, no backup, cut off. It's your turf. Hell, even badges don't patrol around here. Uh huh. They're trying to provoke you? Make you do something stupid? They do not leave Jiaim. How many are we talking about in there? Daddy, maybe more. Vinina, we talk here. You sit. When do I see Brigitte? You do job. That is fast. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in. Now. Damn it. Here goes nothing. Well, at least he's not likely to talk your ears bloody. Got a feeling we're not gonna become best friends. No chemistry. <laughs> I will survive. Evelyn Parker. Ring a bell? Not one of us. She did work for you once. Why not send your own goons to the gym? It's not our way. How's that been working out for you? Work good, good more than bad. Your comb shaman, it is Victor. Is that at all relevant, or just a cheap scare tactic? I need you to be able. I need no. This cheap. It have no signature. What is it? Chip's why I'm here. Why I want a word with Brigitte. Doesn't look at all familiar. It should. Why? I see only it is damaged. Got a bullet to the brain. Hasn't worked since. That's how. Mmm. You know, you haven't asked about my experience. What I can do. We are not cop. Do not offer career. You do for us only one simple thing. Once inside, what do I do? The camionet. Twenty thirty-five zero seven. Three seconds before, poof. We try to learn where the camionette come from. Van's definitely a custom job. I see you not know also. Hey, just trying to piece the facts together. You record all this on your own? Mm-hmm. Local cam signals, cop sats, we capture to all. But from inside the gym, squat, right? Tech looks pretty advanced. Doesn't scream meathead to me. They watch it very close. It is important, whatever I Placid. did. Batman Kelly have this and i Femme Butler. Time for a break? Think you might be needed. They will manage fine. You focus. Animals aren't the play here, are they? They're hired muscle. Someone else needed them. Someone with a van full of Netrunner tech. And that's where I come in? To sniff out who? Mm-hmm. Start with the communet. Hide from all eyes. Only see the city as you. You have now synced with Rizzo Agwe, our subnet. Why? What for? 
You are, you are my vessel, vessel now. now. Do Agwe, I see what, what you see. Hear what, what you hear. I will, I will guide you to Jiaim. Another voice in your head. Just what the Ripper Doc ordered. So, aim to keep an eye on me. <laughs> Shows trust. All right. Anything else I should know? Find our people near Mall. They will show you how to get inside the beast. Got it. So I do this, and you put me in front of Brigitte, right? Yes. Suti at the end of the hall. Go down, my people will let you pass. They? Netwatch. They always out to fuck us. Must have pissed them off recently, huh? Really doubt they'd attack like this unprovoked. One reason only. Always the same. Wezo Agwe. It is a net they cannot see, cannot touch. How bad's it look? I do not know how much data they pull, but their map is no complete. They still not have source validation. What are they looking for exactly? Internal data forts. If they crush our eyes, they take Agwe and the entire net and return to the dark time of Bart Moss. Okay, so what's on me to do? You must reach the agent. Easy now to find him. Look at the map. He is in cinema. Step away now. This isn't your fight. Matt! What? Placide, what? Now, God, pushed out. The runner know you are here. Hunt him. Okay, so what do I do once I find him? I will tell you. The Asian man tries to cut you off. There is a gate behind the camionette. I will open it. Now to the second floor, the cinema. You paid what you paid. I spoke my mind appropriately. What's going on? You have company soon. No, scatter right problem. away. That bad, huh? She must no, have a weak none spot. None of those chair jocks could have zeroed that many from my pack. No, I didn't say that. I'm just saying, you need to hurry, is all. Magazine detected. Message to use. Thanks, Shireen. What's going on? Let me try to scramble you. Keep focused. I handle it. But I cannot hold him long. Mm. He in the same subweb with Alpha <laughs> Animal. Deal with him. Yeah. Yeah.
that too. I'll fucking rip you apart! That's too faster. What? Well, I'm not gonna let you get And vinegar. I think she's had enough. Invade him. We need access to their data. Clear? You must first. Proceed. Whoa. Hey. Easy. What did you do? Well, now we can talk in private. Just severed the connection to the rest of Pacifica. Gives us a little time. All right, then let's hear it. Had a specter on you, didn't you? Saw and heard all you did, you followed his orders? No idea what the voodoo boys are paying you, but our pockets are deeper. Not interested. Not a money job for me. Just need an in with Mama Brigitte. Voodoo chef. Brigitte and her lapdog T. Neptune have been frozen several days now, ever since we shrouded their subnet with ice. And you? Well, you were sent here to free them. Do you know why they didn't tell you everything? Cause you're a ran. That's what they call outsiders brought in for special jobs, floor rags. When you're no longer needed, they chuck you. A fate for all ran. You have Brigitte? <laughs> and how'd you manage that? When we took the mall, we knew the VDBs at Sem Runners. T. Neptune breached first, to see what was going on. When we iced him, Brigitte dove in after him, used him to shield herself. Tough cookie, that one, but still finds herself stuck. Got anything to back that claim? That the Voodoo's want to set me up? Wanna. They did it already. Soon as you handed over your link. Slipped in the Spectre and a virus. <laughs> Talking as if he was there. He's working you. So obvious it hurts. Ask for proof. Besides, I'd know. <laughs> that so? Then please take a look. Run a system diagnostic. Fine. And? Nothing out of place. No trace of... Do it again. Then cross-check the result against the first. Identical, right? Mm-hmm. Because it's not a real scan, it's a copy. Why not attack him head-on? I'm guessing you've identified the voodoo top brass. So what if we have? See me as a sly assassin, offing them one by one? Please, don't act like the corpse who finance Netwatch don't farm out wet work. Let alone the armies they have at their beck and call. Armies make too much noise. And the voodoos are skittish as field mice. Brigitte and the other one, Neptune. What's their condition? Tags are active, so the VDBs must be keeping them alive from their side. But... They can't sustain that. They cannot, which in turn makes Brigitte and T less useful to us. Tried using their interface to breach the Voodoo subnet, but Brigitte proved... stubborn. She managed to take some bites out of our systems before we secured her. Little taste of your own medicine? The data collection. Why would you target Pacifica's runners? That's the job. This is about Rezoagua, isn't it? Can't have an indie net where you aren't welcome to protect and serve, huh? No such thing as an independent net. If the voodoo boys breach the black wall, we'll all be fucked one way or the other. All right. What are you offering? A compromise. 
I'll fish the voodoo virus out of your system. And I'll release both Brigitte and T. Neptune. They'll wake up like nothing ever happened. Not to worry. And all you gotta do is let us walk. With our data. Okay, do it. I knew we'd have a meeting of the minds. Can't believe you fall for this shit. Good luck. Got a feeling we'll be seeing each other. Fan of westerns, huh? Of course. They depict a simpler, better time. One thing hasn't changed, though. Good guys still carry badges. Righteous Sheriff. Think you might have found Netwatch's new recruiting slogan. Now there's an idea. You've clearly got a feel for this. Oh, the seed is gonna be pissed. So he was behind this. Not altogether surprising, I suppose. And none too subtle. You guys know each other? Running World's a small one, I guess. Well, we're doing whatever we can to make it even smaller. Brigitte and the other guy, are they back? Who told? Yes, Mama B is awake. Perfect, because I gotta talk to her. And what up, Netwatch? Taken care of. Look for my people out front. We are to take you to Placid. Let's go. doing the GIM. You were to hack the agent, not cut deal with him. Do that to every merc you hire. Try to set him up. Cool that son. You believe that fachis? What he say? You say, or I open you. See with my own eye what won't crawl under. I fucking dare you. I say, we must head under. I do not know what Netwatch plans, but they are not done. You worried about agents? Then shoot him in the head. I do not know what they put in him. What corruption is in his system. You don't know what is in there to begin with. How much it is worth. I know. I stand him. Only a normal filthy rhino. Ale, mene moun Come with me. You know about the biochip, don't you? If it is functional, we offer you good price for it. Biochip's busted. That's why I'm here. I haven't found a single soul capable of getting this thing out of me without scrambling my brain. You commissioned the heist. So I figured you must know something. You've gotta. How do you know all this? How did you find us? Evelyn Parker. Name ring a bell? Ah, the doll. The whore. You found us because she led you to us. She has proved not completely useless after all. Listen, can you help me or not? Yes, of course, but not here. We will go to the crib, where you must give us access to the jeep. Once we have the data we need... We will do our best to help you. Then, after you. You guys sure seem to love this place. 
But honestly, you don't give off a strong religious vibe. We left our gods on Aiti, yet we are strong here without them. This way. So how come Placide didn't know about the biochip? He didn't recognize it in the scans. Few of our people know about Compeki Tower. But Placide, he is. Your bet de ba. Where are we going? Soon you will see. Watcher did not notice the biochip in you. Strange. Did you let him scan you? Hmm? No. Why? It would complicate our work. There's an old subway tunnel? No. Part of the transcontinental maglev system. When all states were connected. Like the net, it too crumbled after the war. View a courant. Bon. We take you into the cyberspace. No better place for you to interact with the construct. How do I know I'll come back? Do I get some guarantee? You will be inside our data fortress. Under watch. Under your watch? If you knew what is out there in the cyberspace, you would not be so choosy. How's all this any different from plain old net running? The interface show you the data layers direct from the net. Readable, of course. What the basic runners see is only a map. They cannot see beneath the surface. Their tech, it is too weak. Okay, hang on. I want to know what you need Silverhand for first. We wish to contact Alt Cunningham. We know she and Silverhand were close. Alt? The relic which Arasaka held close. It is our only lead. Alt? Cunningham. Heard of her? Oh. Where? From who? From Johnny. Though granted, not much. Johnny? All right, V. Guess you better tell her. Tell her what? About us. What's your plan to contact Alt? We try to cut out a unique piece of Silverhand's engram from the biochip. Alt will know it. If something of the human is left after years beyond the Black Wall? She will answer. Well, what? You said nothing about breaking through the Black Wall. Well, now you know. Direction yeah. connected. Connection stab. Johnny, looks like you're the bait. You okay with that? Yeah, whatever. Just do what she says. <sighs> Let's do this. Okay. What now? Johnny? Il paraît. Il paraît plongé. This is our BBS, Data Fortress. Bridge to the Deep Net. It's 
It's all so alive. So real. Cyberspace moves, breathes at all times. The interface will adjust the ebb and flow of data to the capabilities of your brain. But you, you are an exceptional case. Seeing something more than I am. Yes, the cyberspace, it is always trop belle. So, what now? We can begin. All is ready. We enhance your link to Silverhand's neural network for a short time, to grab the fragment. We must find the data on Alt. Alt alone. This should only take... He'll never fade away! Johnny! The fuck, Holmes! Hey, out of line! Hey, Way out! What next? Where are you gonna take it? Gonna drag a corporal rat on stage, make Four him kneel, errors. douse him with gas, then light him up? Silver hand! Come here! Johnny! Come, on, come here! Johnny! It's not your pants! You're no solo oh. act! You know exactly why I do it. No, nuh-uh. To piss Arasaka off enough so they'll give you a case of deep muscle lead poisoning? You kinda are, though. Only one to have a problem with me. Cause everyone else has had it up to here. They're done thinking they can get through to you. You're fucking whacked! But I'm the only one with a vision. So unless you got a better one, like I said, go fuck yourself! Fuck. Is it the concert or Carrie? Hmm? Said you weren't coming tonight. Not if I can help it. Changed my mind, lover. Look at you, all hot and bothered. Goodness gracious me. Mm -hmm. A damn shame that's that. Always gotta shit all over it, don't you? Any moment that might actually feel good. Your moment. What the hell not? You can be such a bastard sometimes, Johnny. Man, are you on my ass today? Not just today. How is it subtlety goes so far over your head? Weird for an artist. Things were swimming. What? Change your mind? Eats at my gut. Cause you knew what you were signing up for. Look. If you were just another charismatic, narcissistic douche canoe running around after his dream with his head up his ass, I couldn't care less. But? It's all a lie. That concert, samurai, all of it. 
a ginormous fiction. You're not a rocker boy, Johnny. Face it. Ada joined the wired wackos on the corners, frothing at the mouth as they screamed death to Arasaka. <sighs> huh, I get it. Like to fix your men, huh? Not the first to try, believe me. Honestly, I've got better things to do. Just hoped I'd help you realize you're deluding yourself. And the doing anything about it, that's on you. You're confused. We came here to fuck each other's brains out, not analyze mine. Mm, you're afraid. You and Carrie both. Cowards. I alone have the balls to stand up to Arasaka, and boy, that terrifies you. All of you. Of course, Johnny S. Misunderstood by all Night City. That's it. That's the problem. I think we're done for the day, so you can fuck off. See, I thought... Not another goddamn word, okay? Just shut up, for once. You're fucking hopeless. You don't know fuck all about me. This is all we have, all we are. Where are you going? Got somewhere to be. Silver hand! Hey! Good noise, oh. chump. Shoots round when a cup of dead! Save it. I don't know for who. Can't kill because there's words! Blaze away! Down the rebel path! Playing again tomorrow. Let's get out of here. Join us for a drop, Silver Rocker. Another time, Chumbas. But what if there won't be another time? Huh? Johnny boy. Go, run! Hey, where do you think you're going? Fuck off! Leave me alone! Yeah. Johnny! No! Fuck off! Let me alone! Johnny! Don't let go of me! Come on, rise and shine. Been a while, Johnny boy. How long did you say? Two weeks since I last cobbled you up? Man, did I miss you. Ugh. Bullshit, you gonk son of a bitch. Didn't even bother to call. You were supposed to be back for your follow-up. Kid's like a son to me. So I see. Where's Alt? Where's who? Woman who was with me. He brought you and you alone. Fuck, they grabbed her. Nobody saw it? Ask your savior. Said his name was Thompson.
that you back there and what? We gotta talk. All right. It's spit and glue, but she's holding tight. Get some rest. Even a few hours, that the stitches set at least. Uh-huh. Johnny. Yeah, fuck it. You won't listen anyway. So talk. They wanted her. You. You was just home. And you just stood there, dick in hand, gawking and dreaming of tomorrow. Would have shredded us both if I jumped in. You see the guy's reflexes? Course not. He was that fast. Tech like that, you don't find in a dumpster. So, what are you after? Chasing down a story? Fresh for the scream sheets? That why you scraped me up off the pavement? Nah, had my story. But then some cats tossed her in the back of a van and sped off. You, uh, aim to do something about it? She was your output, wasn't she? Alt's kidnapping, it's collateral shit. They swiped her to get at me. You even know what she does for a living? Girl's one of the best runners around. So? One of how many? No. Only linked to Arasaka's the fact that Johnny Silver and boning her. Well, she's been working for ITS lately. Wrote some real smooth black eyes for them. Not to be duped in either sense of the term. Arasaka wants her. Abduction was a standard intercorp extraction. Nothing more. Hang on. Alt was gonna meet you tonight. Mm-hmm. Said she could use my help. Wasn't kidding. Sokka tried this before, you know. Except Alt got lucky. Slipped through their mantis blades. Telling me she was afraid, and she went to you. Yeah. And frankly, I'm starting to see why. Okay, so what are they after? Soul Killer. An AI. Sound familiar at all? Course. Urban legend with the shittiest name ever. It's no legend. Soul Killer's real. And your Chumbas at Arasaka just hired the runner who wrote it. Take that in. Sokka with Soul Killer to do with as it pleases. Grim, my man. You even imagine that, Rocker? Arasaka will be unstoppable. Soul Killer will flatline any runner who comes close to even trying to scratch its eyes. Seen it happen. Not an iota of physical damage. Nervous system or anywhere else. No sound, no fury, no stench. Just all of a sudden, brain waves cut out. As if someone pulled the plug. Or ripped the soul from the body in question. What a steaming load of shit. Let's go. Okay. What's your take then? I'm all ears. Oldest, tritest tale in the world. Arasaka was out to provoke me. And it worked. So what'll it be? Coming with? Where to? Arasaka Tower. To grab Alt, right back. Just you and me? You out of your fucking mind? Swing by the Atlantis on the way. Got some tombs there. I'll be in the car. Can't wait too long, though. You'll wait as long as you need to. Where the hell's Rogue? Sit. Stay. Silverhand! Got an IOU here with your autograph on it. Guess it's your lucky day. Ah, 
Much appreciated. Want a drink? The usual. Please. Seen Rogue? She's upstairs. But I heard you two weren't, uh. Well, you heard wrong. Fucking fuck. Johnny, give me a hand here. Heard you weren't talking to me. Dunno. Seemed to be talking to you. How about now? Now you can go fuck yourself. Johnny? How's things, Engels? Got a private meet going on in there. Rogue back there, too? Yeah, just... Yeah, yeah, private meet, so you said. Promise to be super unobtrusive. God, I hate this fucking town. Johnny. Don't know you. That's no problem. Just as long as everyone else knows Johnny Silverhand. Rogue. Lovely surprise to see you here. We're waiting for a client. One who values discretion. Mm-hmm. So much so, he himself didn't show. No point in sitting here, then. You still mad about that thing? What thing, Johnny? That you fucking lied to my face? Put my peeps on the line? Or that you were fucking three other women behind my back before we were through? Look, our history, I know. But we don't really have time for... feelings. I'm in no hurry. I got a job. That's it. Urgent. But I got the Euro. How much? Butt out. This isn't your biz. He's now. Rocker just pulled out his wallet. Don't you get it? He's not here about any damn job. He's fucking with me. Last so time this he... time, you'll be smarter. Take your eddies up front. So, how much, Rocker? It's important. Name your price. Ah. So you're either made of money, or you think we won't live to collect. Either way, Rocker, you're coming with us. Deal. That it is. Urgent indeed. Shit, Johnny. Didn't notice you had a fucking tail? Mr. Silverhand. You're coming with us. Sure. Let me just finish this. It's gonna take much longer. Got There'll trouble be more at the heaps. bottom. Bet you thou. Parked outside. You coming? Thompson's waiting for me in the car. Who? Media. You wouldn't know it. Company, on our ass. Cover you. 
Arasaka! Fuck. If they hit the car, we're fucked. Cunningham, net runner from ITS. Oh, yeah. The tower. What's the taking her there? This gets better by the minute. How you want to play this? Either of you gonks got a plan? Yep. Distract him. Make some noise. Set up right under Arasaka's windows and crank it loud. Blast the pains out. It'll be a gig to remember. Yet have word on the exact number of people hurt and riot. But our reporters are on the scene at Arasaka Tower. And they all agree. A psychoactive agent has been dispersed at the site, affecting those in the crowd. All right. You recording this whole thing? Uh-huh. Why? Want to say a few words to the folks at home? Do what you gotta do. Just stay out of my way. Let me try. Son of a bitch! Try this. Ah. Now I see why we brought him along. Three, two, one... advise you not to disturb her. What'd you do to Alt? I put her to work on a project of a lifetime. Get out of my way. Alt. Alt, come on, don't she... do this. Fuck! Johnny. The hell are you doing? Are you still rolling? This is all we can do now, my man. Show people the truth. No. <coughs> Won't change her. She's not... Johnny! Stop that! You have to kill him? We gotta go. Johnny! She's dead. Well, spit it out before you burst. Thompson. What happened to him? 
Dunno, never worked together again. Maybe because you whooped his ass to make yourself feel better. Guy was a vulture. Out to use all from the start. When Arasaka flatlined her, man, for him that was sprinkles, with the cherry on the top. Fuck, he would have killed her himself if they hadn't. Just for his cockrod story. Never even told me half that about Alt. Really? Any examples? I don't know. That you were a couple? That she wrote Soul Killer? That she's dead? How the hell is she supposed to help us now? As a ghost? She's not dead. Managed to escape. I saw the body. Alt fled. Into the net. When'd you find out? When she made contact a little later. And? What'd she say? That she was a captive in the Arasaka subnet. But they couldn't hurt her. And she told me not to come looking for her. What? Why? This one time she wanted me to just let it go. Cause enough people had died for nothing already. So, what did you do? Got my hands on two thermonuclear charges. Then headed back to Arasaka Tower. And Rogue went with you, again. I paid her well. Said to yourself, she was the best. Had her pick of contracts. But for some strange-ass reason, she took a job from a rocker with a death wish. A rocker forever getting his ass beat by Arasaka. Different times, kid. Back then, mercs didn't normally sell out to corpse. All you had to do was yell, Let's fuck up Arasaka, and every last one of them jizzed their pants. Rogue included. How do you know Alt's still around? It's been half a century. But you've spent cloistered in Mikoshi. Now watch could have hunted her down years ago. Oh, they tried, believe me. But their tiny corporate brains can't handle a free AI that knows how people think. They were busy looking for her in the Crystal Palace while she was building the Ghost City for Kang Tao. Voodoo boys think they know where she is, beyond the Black Wall. Where nobody can touch her. Brigitte's primed to go there, break through. Just to contact the Alt, talk to her. Ka-ching. Construct, what kind of shape's it in? Enough data is uncorrupted to convince Alt it is authentic. What the hell does that mean? Sure felt like more than a moment. So a good chunk of Johnny's life. And Alt. It is possible. Data connected to Alt are linked to a strong memory trace in the Construct. Very strong. These memories must have evoked a powerful emotional response. Then project it onto your consciousness. Emotion, yeah. Plenty of that. So, did it work? Yes. We extract the necessary fragment of Silverhand's Angram. We are ready now to make contact with Alt. First, we must dive deeper. yet returned. She will be the first. So, actually, you've got no idea what's beyond that thing. But we will know soon. In these shapes I'm seeing. Wild, unfettered AI, searching for a passage. I held up my end of ordeal. Your turn. Before you pass through that wall, I want Johnny's psyche removed. 
We will not pass through. You will take the call to the other side. Fuck. Might have guessed. Never had any intention of helping me, did you? It does not matter anymore. You will bring all to its end. Don't got much for options, do I? Ali. How do I get to the other side? Regine. Alt! Yap attacking Network Lab. What the hell is going on? They breached our BBSs. We have nothing to do with this. Network. What? Network cannot touch me here. It's really you. What happened out there? Couldn't just take him out? That watch was well prepared this time. Gotta be Mosley the fucker. What if Brigitte and the Voodoo Boys? I was forced to purge them. That watch was exploiting their BBS. Purge? You mean they're dead, all of them? Not actually gonna feel bad for them, are you? Brigitte. What does she want from you in exchange for Johnny? That I guarantee her and her clan's safety beyond the Black Wall. And what did they want to find out there? The corporation-controlled net is now nearly as unstable as it was before the Black Wall's creation. The Voodoo Boys wish to use this to their advantage, to fight on our side when the time comes. Damn it. I brought Netwatch here. Agent I dealt with must have slipped me a tracker that let him right in. Switch things up on the sly, replacing the Voodoo's virus with his own brand of fraud. Probably how they got to you. It matters not. The entire subnet was destroyed. Alt, you pulled us out of there. That mean you and us were okay? Everything's chill? I have recognized your engram code, but I do not know why you are here. So you can pay me back for getting you out of our Saka Tower. V, this is Alt. Best net runner Night City's ever seen. Alt, this is V. You need to save his life. As you can see, Johnny's got it all thought out. But there's the question of what you'll want in return. Netwatch propaganda has been effective. Do you see me as a demon who requires a pact signed in blood? Got no clue who you are now. Know a little about who you were. And Johnny, that he was important to you. Well, I'm no one. So I'm asking, what's it gonna cost? I cannot help you. Can't or won't? Can't. To attempt to do so, I would need access to more advanced technology. Interesting. Brigitte claimed she alone could help me. The Voodoo Boys deceived you. Why am I not surprised? Fine, so how about Makoshi? That advanced enough for you? If I could gain access to Makoshi, it would cease to exist. Good, we can work with that. We'll get you inside Makoshi and you'll help V, deal? Best runner Night City's ever seen can't bust into Makoshi on her own? I am a well-known threat there. They have a layer of black ice with my name on it. Literally. Kinda like a custom-made prison jumpsuit. I refuse to be caged in there ever again. What can you do for me, exactly? Everyone I've met so far said I'm too far gone. 
By everyone, you mean Hellman? Saburo's personal ass munch? With the Soul Killer resident inside Mikoshi, I will create a construct of you, then disentangle your neural network from Johnny's. I shall then inject your engram back into your mortal form. So, you'll save my life, but flatline me along the way. Your consciousness, neural engrams, will be recorded as data. The rest will cease to exist. The rest? The soul. I did not grant the program its name, but Soul Killer does precisely what it promises to do. Christ, I don't want to listen to this bullshit. V just hops back into his body, right? Nothing changes. Everything changes. You know this well. Right, so we got a plan. But how will you reach Mikoshi? I've created armies that failed to breach it. They were children of the net. There's your problem. We're banking on the human factor. We'll crack a window, slip you into Mikoshi. So, we agreed? Yes, we are agreed. Find a path into Mikoshi. I shall prepare a program to help you navigate the local net. How will I contact you once I'm ready? This is a BBS address. It will be our secure communication channel. Alt, before you leave, we gotta talk. Just you and me. No, that will not be possible. Ah! <laughs> Ah, ah, uh, uh, uh. Couldn't think of a more fitting end. Runner Fox had it coming. As much as it tickles me too, we got a Delta. Right, still got Mr. Grumps left. Was your ticker? Sit and rest. Don't need your flat running while we got a job to do. Blah blah blah. Fuck Arasaka. Blah blah. Smash Mikoshi. You really are turning into me. Uh, might be right. We're bickering like a couple of geezers on a park bench. It's time we let up. Let a little trust take hold. Charming guy. Just make the effort, charisma flows. Then I remember that nuke you detonated downtown without a second thought and no hint of later remorse. It was Mikoshi I was after. Wanted to destroy it. Gave Sokka ample time to clear the building. You knew countless people would die. Don't kid yourself. Take lives aplenty yourself. See scale as a problem? Got a point. Guess we make quite the duo. 
No, we're not the same. What I did in Sokka Tower, no doubts, no regrets. You might fool someone else with that, but I call horseshit. What do you know? Got no idea where I'm going. Be a living legend. That's all I wanted. Feels like I'm barely surviving. Test of a person's true value? Death. Facing it. Staring it down. You still got a chance to be somebody. Yeah. Maybe. What was it like... when you died? Was on top of the world. Failure not an option, not a thought. Till it happened. Death feels real now. It's only now I know it. Now? I have a century to come to terms. Makoshi felt, I don't know, like sleep? Lacked awareness, had no sense of passing time. Didn't mark it. Did what they wanted to me. I just remember, cold, a black void, fear. Or, or was that your death? Well, I think I get why you detest the place. Shouldn't exist. Of all the destruction and pain corpse wreak around the world, what happens at Mikoshi is worst. Know why? Honestly, not sure. Let me tell you. Worst things when they switch up your identity. And you never even know you've become someone else. Corps have already taken the world for their own. Now they're coming for us. Realize what you're doing to me is what our sock is doing at Makoshi. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm gonna fix it. Let's move. Get back to work. Let's do.